But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please to invite your friends and let us have a great time together. Today before we start, you know, we heard the news that uh, Abdul, from the followers of the great Satan, peace be upon him, Muhammad, he attacked Salman Rushdie. And the news is all over. You know, just type the word Salman Rushdie and you will see the news. Now, based on what happened, I am afraid I cannot talk about Islam no more. I cannot say Muhammad is stupid. They will attack me. We are really intimidated. So I'm thinking what is a word I can use instead of a stupid, which will not cause the terrorists to follow me. Hmm. I mean, donkey, it's been used and abused. Camel, eh, camel is a good animal. Pig is useful. I don't know. I cannot describe Muhammad more than Satan. So I hope that will not offend the terrorist. So if I say Satan, are you okay with that? Please, because you are a terrorist and you believe in voting and you believe in the freedom of speech, let me know if you agree with the word Satan. You know, when this guy, he wrote a book and he called it Satanic Verses. Why Muslim could have said, isn't it your book says Muhammad received Satanic Verses? I mean, those stupid donkeys, they read the verse every day in the Quran that Muhammad received Satanic Verses and Allah will take it off from the Quran. And then when somebody says, oh, you know, the prophet here receives it, and like verses, they get upset. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with the religion? What's wrong with the followers of this idiot Muhammad? Did I say idiot? Oh, man, they will attack me now. I wrote, I wrote many books, and this guy wrote nothing about Islam. I am the one who wrote books about Islam. So... Is it true that Muhammad received satanic verses? And now guess Muslims, do you know how many people who never heard of this guy, especially from the younger generation, they will start buying his book again? And you know the funny is that Allah cannot kill him. And Abdul, he think he can do what Allah could not do. <laughs> you know actually, I have, a, I have a question for Salman Rushdie. How in the world he accept to go to a state like New York? You know, don't you know that this is state of liberals? How even those terrorists, they get inside the room. When everybody knows who is Salman Rushdie, how they get inside and they have a weapon with them. New York. You go to New York, idiot. In the city of New York, people, they go to a jewelry store, they break all the windows, they take all the jewelry and they go. New York. Any state in USA is run by liberals is literally screwed. Never live in them, never stay in them, and never be 
an immigrant to them. If you seek security, if you seek a real place, never live in a state run by Democrat. As you see, anything they touch, it come to dust. And now because the Mohammedan, they attack Salman Rushdie, I have to be worried about my life. So I decide not to insult Muhammad no more. So let us talk about this donkey. His name is Muhammad. <clears throat> we have some videos here. And those videos, oh, this is Salman Rushdie when he was young. I mean, look how coward they are. They're attacking a guy. He is 75 years old. A bunch of cowards. Like their prophet who attacked Abu, you know, Abu Rafa. He was more than 85 years old and he sent somebody to assassinate him. He told him, I want to borrow something from you, the Muslim. Then he followed him to his room. And in his room, he killed him. And aware. I mean, do you see how coward this religion is? This is a religion. Those Muslims, they say to you that the prophet, he have a warrior. He have cowards. Very old man. You attack him. Aren't you ashamed? But anyway, what you expect? Followers of the one who receives satanic verses, they act like Satan. They will do what Satan does. So here we have, let me see where is the video. Give me a second. Yeah. Where is the video? I uh, hold on. Three questions to Prophet Muhammad. I had to restart my computer. Look like I lost. Uh, the video which I was going to play. Let me go to history. Maybe we can find it. Um, <clears throat> okay. It cannot be found in the history too. What happened? Let us see here. Um, where are you? Hmm. Let's see here, maybe. We... Okay, maybe this one here. Yeah, I guess this one. So, brother and sisters, Muhammad is a true prophet. How he proved that he is a prophet? The Jews, they came to him and they asked him three questions. And you know, I do not know what the point of those three questions. Everything in Islam is a three. Muhammad, he shake hand three. Muhammad, he say, Assalamu Alaikum three. Muhammad, he blow his nose three. Muhammad, he wash his hand three times. Muhammad, everything he do is a three time. And now they want to know if he is a prophet or not. So they come to him, the Jews, and they say to him, we are going to give you three questions. Nobody can answer them except a prophet of God. And by those, if you answer them correctly, we can determine if you are really a prophet or not. And you know, the funny here, the Sheikh is saying to you that, you know, you want to understand the Quran, you go to the Quran. 
<laughs> facade. Facade in entertainment. Facade in the bedroom. And you cannot recognize that facade. You should go back to school. And if you recognize that it's universal facade today, and you don't go to the Quran to search for the explanation, you should go back to school. Because Allah says that He sent the Quran to explain all things. <laughs> he sent the Quran, the Quran, the Quran to explain all things. You'll have to forgive me if I keep on repeating certain things because I've been saying it for 20 years now and they can't hear me. Brother, sorry, uh, can I say something? Comment. Donkeys, brother, donkeys. He is saying to 20, for 20 years, the Quran is the one who explained everything. 20 years. So why you have Ibn Kathir and Al-Qurtubi and Al-Jalalain and what the heck is that? And why even you have the Hadith as long as the Quran explain everything? Continue, continue. So I have to repeat and again and again and again. Quraysh did not know hmm. how to determine the validity of the claim of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala uh -huh. that he was indeed a prophet as he claimed. Okay. So they sent a delegation hmm. intelligently so. So now those are Quraysh guys. Quraysh, the pagan supposedly, they send a delegation to, to, to examine if Muhammad is a prophet or not. How they can do that? Tell us. To the rabbis in huh. the northern city of Yathrib. Ah, they asked the Jews for help. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell us, how can we determine whether or not he is indeed a prophet like unto Ibrahim, alayhi salam, Musa, alayhi salam. I mean, can you believe this is stupidity? How they are pagans and they believe in Ibrahim and they believe in Musa. What the heck with this religion, man? So they are pagan who worship stones and they believe in Ibrahim and Musa's brother? Mm. Suleiman So they said, ask him these three questions. Uh, thank you, Zaki. Thank you. Brother, ask him those three questions. If he can answer them, he's a prophet. If he could not, he's not a prophet. Any one of you would like to get the license now to be a prophet? Learn those questions and those answers, and now you can announce yourself to be a prophet. Thank you. Yeah. Ask him these three questions, which only a Nabi can answer. Look what the heck. I mean, do you see the stupidity of this garbage, Muhammad? How only a prophet can answer, and they knew the answer. People, do you see how stupid donkey is Muhammad is? Excuse me, terrorist, don't be offended. I'm not insulting the prophet. I'm giving him a rank. Don't attack me in the stage like Salma Rushdie. I'm scared now. If nobody know the answer for them except a prophet, how they knew the answer? Because later they will agree. They say, yes, correct. This is the correct answer. Like, what the heck? So all the rabbis, they knew the correct answer and nobody knows the answer for those things except a prophet. That's mean all those rabbis are prophets. I want to know where the donkeys coming from. Some said that donkeys are aliens. Some said that donkeys are not. But they are Democrats. And I said, what is your proof? He said, look at their flag, donkey. I went, you know, as a uh, Middle Eastern Arab immigrant, I came to this country and I, I, I said, what the heck? Democrat, uh, <clears throat> they have a flag. Let us see, uh, what is the flag? You know, I mean, you have to be proud to be a Democrat. Look at this, donkey. 
I am sure that the one who come with this story, he is either descendant from Prophet Joe Biden, peace be upon him, or he is a member of the Democratic Party. But they are not sure even what is women until now. Let me call my mom and ask her, Mom, what is, what is women? <laughs> so three questions, brother and sisters. Nobody know the answer for them except the prophet of God. The only prophet of God. I mean, let us face it. Let us face it together. I mean, you can play dumb, you can play stupid, you can play ignorant, but you cannot ignore the truth that this is a very genius situation. Three questions, three answers, bingo, you are a prophet. Mm. Do I have a TikTok? Yeah, you know, I have a neighbor actually have TikTok. You know, across the street, he have like those all the clock. They keep making like TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And then, you know, I, I went to him. I said, you want to you wanna sell this clock? He said, uh, oh, sure. So I bought it. I throw it in the garbage because I want to sleep, man. For God's sake, I want to sleep. TikTok. What are you talking about? We have a lot of TikTok in this world. Don't you see the TikTok in the front of you? This is the tick. And that is the talk. Listen carefully for three questions. Nobody knows them except prophet of God. In the northern city of Yathrib. Tell us, how can we determine whether or not he is indeed a prophet like unto Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Suleiman alayhi salam. So they said, Ask him these three questions. Uh, thank you, Zaki. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Zaki. Ask him these three questions, hmm. which only a Nabi can answer. Only, brother. Only. So not even... What is it called now? Yeah. A moment of losing memory. His finger is up, his eyes to the right, then his eyes go to the left, and now he's looking at the audience, and now he grabs his fingers, and he's trying to find out, hmm, what? Hmm? Ah, uh, hmm. Squeeze it, squeeze it, it's coming. Come on. Not even... You can make it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are, are you sure you are not the cousin of Joe Biden? Anyway, hey, continue, continue. Yale and Harvard and the Sorbonne. So all these quiet moments to search for the word Harvard, and how hard it is to find it, Harvard. Uh, okay. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, no? Or Oxford or Cambridge or, mm. uh, or, or the International Islamic University, <laughs> only a prophet can answer. Nobody can answer the question. I'm telling you, this is, this is serious, man. Nobody can answer those questions. Not Harvard, not uh, the Institute of uh, Hunters. They cannot answer it. And when I say the Institute of Hunters, I mean uh, Hunter Biden Institute. No, nobody can answer those questions. You know the thing. You know the thing. For the sake of the shin of Allah, tell us what the question, man. We are so excited now. No one is. So what kind of questions is these? Man. The knowledge does not exist in this world. No. And one of the questions was, <laughs> ask him about the ruh. The spirit. <laughs> I have to stop him here for a second, guys. <laughs> so what the question? Ask him about the ruh, the spirit. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, you got a point there. Uh, yeah. This is the same story uh, reported by a sheikh like him. But the story does not match the story. The first question asked him about the spirit. The first question asked him about a ruh. Ruh means spirit. في حديث ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما عند أحمد والنسائي a group of rabbis came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Prophet, yeah I'm smiling to Musa here always when, when, when we hit that route I have to give you a smile yeah, yeah uh, if, if you don't know who Musa is, Musa used to, to be a Jewish uh, scholar, actually. If, if yeah, how you give him a smile if he is not there? I mean, the guy is dead anyway. Yeah, a Jewish learned person in the Torah. He used to, to teach the Torah. Uh -huh. So a group of Jewish rabbis uh -huh. came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet. فقالوا يا محمد. They said, oh Muhammad. We're going to ask you about four things. لا يعلمها إلا. Oh, it was a three. Now it is four. I mean, do you see how Islamic stories are consistent? We want to ask you about four things. The other Abdul is a sheikh too. We want to ask you about three things. Hmm. Okay, okay, we are getting closer. We're going to ask you about four things. Only a prophet would know the answer. Sure, sure. <laughs> Shoot, go ahead. Shoot, ahead. Yeah. Of course, he didn't say that, but... Yeah. For sure, for go sure. Go ahead, ask me. Yeah. ما اسم الطعام الذي حرمه إسرائيل على نفسه? What is the name of the food which Israel made it unlawful upon himself? <laughs> Brother, those questions nobody knew the answers except every Jew and every rabbi at that time. So this is a question only prophet of God knows. And now, what is the food prophet Israel he forbid himself from eating. Hey Muslims, what's wrong with you? This is a question nobody knows the answer for it except a rabbi, except a, a prophet. So the rabbis will be asking the question. Do they the answer? How many of them? They are like ten thousand rabbis at that time. Secondly, what is the food uh, Israel he forbid himself? What the heck is that? What what he forbid himself from? Tell us. Who's Israel first? Jacob. Okay, where do you come find Jacob? You see the other guy, he says, everything is in the Quran. I keep repeating for 20 years, all the explanation is in the Quran. So if we ask this other donkey there, where we come find who is Jacob or Israel in the Quran? Hmm? No answer. Nowhere in the Quran it says how Jacob became an Israel. And nowhere it says that Jacob is an Israel. Nowhere. Continue. So that is the first uh, food, brother. Okay, let us continue. What is the second question? Hmm. All food was lawful for the children of Israel, except what Israel made a lawful for himself. So he, they are asking, what is the name of that food? <laughs> the second question, how does a woman end up with a boy or a girl? Oof, 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 oof. The process, how? What affects that? How would a mother have a girl or a boy? That is two. Three, 
What is the first meal the people of Jannah will eat when they enter Jannah? Brother, serious questions. The second one is the best. The rest are very serious. Uh, brother, the first uh, first food the uh, Israel he forbid himself is farafel. Uh, no, no, I forgot it was a camel. <laughs> and that will cause a problem later. So uh, you see, they ask him how if man and women have sex, why the baby will be a boy or why it going to be a girl? Why? Why? Huh? Muhammad, he answer later. For what is the most famous description of the illiterate prophet, you, mentioned in our books? Ah. Uh, Guys, look, they gave him the answer there. What is the most important question of the illiterate prophet in our book? <laughs> but the Jews, they have a literate prophet in their book. He is a, he's a hypocrite. He's not really a prophet. <laughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala lahum. He said to them, I want you to take an oath on the one who revealed the Torah to Musa. That's deep. That if I answer you correctly, mm. you will follow me. Absolutely. You will believe. They said, yes, we take an oath. Mm -hmm. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the food which Musa, uh, which uh, Israel, Ya'qub Alayhi Salam made unlawful for himself was the meat and the milk of the camel. Top. As long Israel, he forbid himself from eating milk and meat of the camel. How Muhammad allow it? And as long Allah, he approve what he forbid to himself, how come Allah allow it for Muhammad? That's deep. And where he got this from? Abdul. Abdul. Continue. And he told him the story that he had a pain uh, in his spinal or he had some sort of a pain in his spinal and he said la in shafani allah mm -hmm. if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would cure me i will give up eating milk and meat wait 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 where jacob was living uh, brother uh, sheikh uh, uh, karim I mean, uh, why this guy is eating? It looked like he was eating camel every day in the morning. <laughs> is that normal that the Jews or in the old days, this guy is eating camels? Camels? He gave up eating camels, don't have sheep. Don't... I mean, what is, the, what is the sacrifice he did exactly? I mean, do you see the stupidity? If you, God, if you please... Please, if you do, heal me. I will stop eating beef. I will eat only camel and lamb and chicken and fish and this and uh, shrimp and uh, you know. But uh, about camel, I will not eat no more. If you, if you heal me. <laughs> I mean, do you see? You see the exchange between him and the God. You know, you heal me. I told stop eating camel. And okay, well, what the heck is that? I mean, also, what kind of a promise this promise is? Continue. Eat of camels. Hmm. You got this one. Brother, a question. So he can eat pork. But he should not eat camel. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see. Why he did not choose to forbid himself from eating pork? Do you think that eating camel was making him sick? This is why. طيب. إذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة. Now this is the second question. This is will make Muhammad hummus forever. عند موضوع إيه يعني we don't get in. We have a lot of kids sitting. Yeah, brother, we have a lot of kids here. We can't go in details, okay? Islam is not for kids, okay? You have a lot of kids sitting. Why they are there? 
to add. Okay, so now he is going to explain to you why the man, when he has sex with baby, his baby can be a boy or the baby can be a girl. Why? So I'm going to just cross over that cross. closely about the, the boy and the girl thing. But really the message here that uh, because in, in a lot of cultures, uh, men, if the woman keeps having girls, what do they do? Huh? They divorce her and go and marry another one because thinking that she is the reason. Actually, you are the reason. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. You know, here you might think, oh, this is scientific. The man is the reason. Mm -hmm. But listen to what he would say now, what he meant by that. Not her. The man is actually the one who is responsible for uh, the gender. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want to get because we do have a lot of underage here. He's looking at me. Come on, man. He's looking at me. So he told him how it happens. How? إذا سبق ماء الرجل ماء المرأة في لف وإذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة. If the uh, sexual discharge of a man comes before the women, or more than the women, uh, leave it at that. قالوا صدقت. Oh boy. So if you discharge first. If you're the man, discharge first, the baby will be a boy. And the Jews, they said to him, you are right. Bingo. Oh, you know this, man. And do you see now how we prove that Muhammad is a prophet of God? That is a pure science. All the boys in the chat, give me one. If you are a boy, if you are a man, give me one in the chat. Come on, come on, come on. How many of you are male? Give me male in the chat. If you are Democrat, don't forget this question. Jump over it because you are Democrat. You don't know what is women and what is man. You know, it will take you forever to answer this question. Just skip it if you are Democrat. If you are a man, give me one in the chat. Okay. All right. So let me tell you what happened in the bedroom of between your mother and your father. With my respect to them, brother, it was your father who have orgasm first. And this is why you are a boy. Now we know where the sentence which is saying, oh boy, is coming from. So your father now is having sex and he have orgasm first. And now... He's finished. And then what he will say? Oh boy. Now, if you are a female, give me two in the chat. If you are a female, again, if you are Democrat, skip this question because it's very hard for you because you do not know what is women. So skip it if you are Democrat. If you are a female, give me two in the chat. We have only one female in the chat. Two females. Three females. Four females. Five females. Six females. Seven females. Seven hundred twenty, hundred seven, seven hundred twenty, seven hundred twenty, hundred nine hundred, five hundred, eight hundred, one hundred, one thousand, one thousand, two hundred, two hundred, that on and You know, sold. Okay, no, tell me. So now we know what happened for you females in the bedroom. Your mother, she have orgasm first. And when she had orgasm, she screamed and she said, Ogre. I mean, do you see why we have to believe that Muhammad is a true prophet? When your father have orgasm first, after he finished, he say, Oh boy, you are a boy. When your mother have orgasm first, your mother, she say, oh girl, you are a girl. If Muhammad is not a prophet, how we knew this? I mean, we have to think about it, but not too much if you are a Democrat, just for your safety and security. So he told him how it happens. إذا سبق ماء الرجل ماء المرأة في لف وإذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة If the uh, sexual discharge of a man comes before the women,
I need to learn how to practice myself, not to do that. I don't want my son to look like me. I prefer to have a girl. You know, I will marry a beautiful woman and I will never come first. That is really horrible. My son will shoot me actually if I, you know, like, what, look what you did to me. Can't you wait for two seconds more? Can't you wait? I mean, do you see how they examine that Muhammad is a prophet? Brothers and sisters, the truth is like light, and the light now appears for us. <sighs> the messenger of Allah, PBUH, by the way, those are his degrees. Don't think that the Muslims are worshipping him or praising him. No, 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 no. Those are degrees Muhammad, he got from Ar Fard, Fard uh, University. I mean, it's not easy to get Harf from Harvard University degree. The man water is thick and white. Muhammad, how do you know that? That's amazing. How do you discover this, man? And the women, water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child resembles the parents. And you are telling me that he is not a prophet. Who in the world want to believe this guy, Salma Rushdie? We have a true prophet here. Pure, pure, pure science. But I have a question for Prophet Muhammad. What if the man and the women, they have orgasm in the same second? What the baby will be? Hmm. Let me think. I got it. Nancy Bellucci. It's obvious. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If both of them have orgasm in the same time, the baby will be Joe Biden. What the heck is that? Obviously, Prophet Muhammad, he got his science, scientific degree from Harvard University. And Muhammad, by the way, he speak about the women. This charge have the reason is the reason for the baby to be a girl. Look, look, look. The water of the women is thin and yellow. This is when a woman, she came to him and she was touching herself during nighttime. Uh, I mean, look, look who is the customers of Prophet. A woman, she is coming to the Prophet, saying to him, Hello, honey, Prophet. Yesterday I was touching myself and there was a water there. You know, there, let me show you here. Okay, let me lift the skirt up. And then, should I wash it there? The Prophet, you look, mm, mm, yeah, it's yellow. Yeah, and thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better wash. Yeah. Mm. And then a brother, the wife of Muhammad, she was there. And she said to Muhammad, do even women have this charge? Which is telling us that Muhammad never gave his wife orgasm. The wife of Muhammad never, never had orgasm because she was asking, do even women have this charge? And who is the one is asking the wife of Muhammad? What is that telling you? Do you see how nice the Prophet is? He don't want the women to discharge. She will lose energy. He always discharge. <laughs> she, ne she don't even know that there is really a woman she discharge. I mean, look what a scandal. Muslims, how the wife of the Prophet, she never had discharge. Huh? And the Muslim, they try to cover it. They say, no, she is asking if she have sexual... No. What sexual brain? They are talking about this charge. Do the women have this charge? Um Salama said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, does that really happen? <laughs> he said, Yes. Yes. 
And this is the proof that this is about this charge. He started describing the charge. So he said, the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first will resemble the child. I don't like it when CP uh, do politics. Did I hurt your feeling? You must be Democrat. Oh, Democrats are very sensitive. They kill babies, but they are sensitive. <laughs> they support abortion, but they are very sensitive. I'm done. I'm done. I cannot take it no more. When CB talk about politics, I'm done. My friend, you are already done a long time ago. I mean, you are overcooked. What done? What the heck was that? I'm already done. You you are done since you start war, you know voting for Balusi. I mean even her name is well Balusi. What is that? Is that like an alien name or something? I mean those people they will never go. They will stay in the office for centuries and we die, people come, die, people come, die, and they stay there. By the way, I know I wanna I wanna go to Thailand because I wanna look so good like Balusi. You know, I'm going to make a surgery and I uh, will do face lifting and uh, I did many face lifting until now to the point my belly bomb is next to my nose I mean I don't know how many face lifting I can do anyway in the case of the woman see that she must take a bath what women a woman she is touching herself a brother and the man discharge or e the sperm is thick and white and the women discharge is thin and yellow and by the way this women who have thin and yellow look my Muhammad he never met a woman she have a normal discharge because I'm not a doctor, I'm not expert, but someone was supposed to is a doctor, he said. Women they have yellow discharge only when they have infection. I mean this guy wanna give me drama with his bye and goodbye. Just get lost, man. What the heck was this guy? Bye, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm leaving. You know, this you remind me of the Middle Eastern. The Middle Eastern, he like he is now upset. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm leaving, and nobody answer. Okay, I'm leaving. But honestly, I'm leaving. I'm telling you, I'm leaving. Okay, go. You know, no. I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. I'm going to leave. Just go, man. Never come back here. What a stupid idiot. You want to make a drama? And here is the hadith they are talking about, which each one of them is giving us a different story. If you read here, it says that three things, not four things. We will ask you about three things, which only a prophet can answer. What is the first sign of the hour? Do, do you see the whole Islamic story changed? Every Muslim sheikh, he have different report. But yet all of them, they have supposedly one prophet. Uh, what is the first meal people of paradise will eat? Brothers and sisters, this is a very serious question. We will go to paradise. And now the first meal. What is the first meal? You believe it or not, Muhammad told them that the first meal will be the liver of the whale. Oof, 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 oof. You know, there is something uh, the, the Arab they believe that if you eat from the wheel, especially if you eat amber, which is you cannot eat, I don't know how they can do that. Uh, you will have a lot of sexual urge. So because Islam is a sexual religion and heaven is a sexual pimp, God heaven. So the first meal is a food supposedly will increase your sexual urge. So you will be truly, truly, truly her horny. So you will eat the liver of the whale, not the fish as in the translation he says. Al-Hut. 
And then the same question about if the discharge of the man proceed, the discharge of the women, the you know, then the severity will be etc. And uh, and then brother, after he answered their questions, the Jews they converted to Islam, brother. Now, if we go to the other video, which is a st the story totally changed. Remember, we are talking about the same thing, but the story is very different. Listen carefully. And uh, now we understand that this question is connected with Dajjal, mm. the spirit. Uh, we explained that last night, the Tawfiq Center. And then ask him about the great traveler who traveled to the two ends of the land. And then ask him about the young men and the cave. You'll have to excuse me that I have to seek some coffee. Get it, get so it. Get coffee. You I'm need sitting. a lot of coffee. Go ahead. <laughs> excuse me, I need a lot of coffee. Huh? I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> yeah. Ask him about the young men and the cave. And Allah sent down the answers. Hmm. But he sent them in two surahs of the Quran. He sent two of the answers in Surah Al-Kaf. Uh. And he sent the third answer in Surah Al-Isra, which is the surah before. Do you know why Allah did not send all the answers in one shipment? Because what, you know, the, the, the English they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, they gave him one, uh, one, one time questions, three questions at the same time. Why Allah give him here and their question and their answer here and there? What the heck is that? But anyway, go ahead to the answer. Go ahead. Indicating that these two surahs constitute a pair. If these two surahs constitute a pair, and if we have to recite the whole Quran, once a month. You know that, don't you? Mm. Answer me. Answer me. So you are teaching your children, aren't you? To recite the whole Quran once a month. This is your first... You have to teach your children to recite the Quran once a month. Not to understand the Quran. Just recite it. Duty to the Quran. Mm. First. Yeah, yeah. All the others come after this. The first duty to the Quran is to recite the whole Quran in Arabic. In Arabic? Once a month. A Pakistani guy. do better than that, yes. <laughs> so you'll have to divide the Quran into 30 parts and you recite one Jews every day. I mean, we were talking about a topic and now suddenly the topic is about reciting the Quran in three parts. Hey, Joe Biden. Focus. So on the day when you come to... Oh, look like we have to skip here. What the heck with this guy? Okay. Uh, okay. The question. Let's see here this one. I explained to you last night that the question concerning the Ruh is connected with the job. And for that, if you don't know, you have to go to my latest book entitled The Quran, Dajjal, and the, and the Jassad, correct. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the answers, mm -hmm. notice that nothing happens in the Quran by accident. Mm -hmm. But you have to be a keen observer. And you have to be someone who is serious in your attachment with the Quran. And you cannot betray the truth in the Quran and expect that the Quran will open its wisdom to you. Do I need to say more? No, you don't. There are those who betray the truth so that their business can survive. Oh boy. Or so they can keep a job. <laughs> so their name might not go on a no-fly list. That they would not be called terrorists and so on.
See? Now, look what he was talking about. This is what they speak in the mosque. A true Muslim, if he speak the truth, his name will be in the no-fly terrorist list. Did you hear it? A true Muslim is the one who say it as it is. And the second you say it, you will be where? You will be in the terrorist no flight list, which means you are not allowed to fly in any airplane. Son, there are those who sit on the fence when it comes to truth. When Allah says he sent this ummah with a mission, Amr bil ma'roof, it is the truth. I mean, this guy, let us, let us focus. Where is the topic, man? Okay. So now let us see. Uh, yeah, I thought, I mean, this guy is all over the place. Soviet Union, I'm just, I'm going through the text to see what he's talking about. Okay. And must explain that. Because Allah says he sent the Quran to explain all things. So we have an explanation. They don't, but we do. That this is Gog and Magog bringing them back to the Holy Land. Who brought the Jews back to the Holy Land Who? to reclaim it as their own? Who? Understand? Who? Gog and Magog? Who? Modern Western civilization. And so Gog and Magog are located within modern Western civilization. That is different from what Yasser Qadi said. Guys, Gog and Magog, they live in England. Gog and Magog, they live where? In England. Aman Rabbi Aman. I thought Muhammad, he said the Turkish, and he said they are Asian, and he said they have a small eyes. And he said they are, they sleep inside their ears. Let me look. You know what? I always was wondering. I'm trying just to figure out something. which I could not really understand. But now, by the help of the Islamic sheikhs, so Gog and Magog, they live in England. And now, if we look at the hair of this guy, isn't it obvious that he is coming through the hole in the wall, which is Gog and Magog trying to open? Otherwise, I challenge you why his hair is always like that. Just think about it. The hole is so narrow and he is trying to go through. What is the first thing will go inside the hole? His head. And what that will do to his hair? As you see. Very simple. The Quran, brother, explained the Quran. So the Quran who explained that there is a wall built between two mountains and there is people by trillions as number all of them they are hiding inside uk and now we cannot find them tell us more have i identified the two no i've not done that i've not said that modern western civilization is gog and magog did i say that no you did not say that i said gog and magog are located within modern western civilization yeah but mine has remained a solitary voice 
for 20 years now. No one else, no one else has come forward. Mm. No, no scholar of Islam has come forward in 20 years <laughs> to say, yes, Imran is right. So now let's go to Surah so Al-Kaf. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is answering the question about the great traveler. The great traveler, guys. The great traveler, his name now. That is a new name. The great traveler. This guy from YouTube, I think. And he repeats the question. And they question me about someone who is known as Zulkarnain. That's not his name. That's not his name. I don't know his name. And stop. I thought the Quran explained everything. Why does God, they are asking him about Zulkarnain. Why does God don't say his name? <laughs> How many times in this video, this guy, he said the Quran explained everything. Zulkarnain in Arabic means the, the person with the two horn. The one with the two horn. How in the world, the God of Islam, he used such a word. Wearing horns is an act of pagans, the Roman pagans, where they have a hat and it has horn in it. What kind of God he accept to announce that Zulkarnain, the man with the two horn, is a prophet of Allah, and all of us, we knew that this is Alexander the Great. And even the interpretation of the Quran, it says that. I don't want to know his name. It's not important to me. Why? Why is not important? He's known as Zulkarnain. Ah. And Karn can mean a horn. And Karn can mean a generation. A mm. people, an epoch. Yeah. An age. So which one is it? The possessor of two horns? Or someone who will impact on two ages? Which one is it? Which one? Proper methodology is since this is located in the Quran, let's go to the Quran. Let the Quran answer the question. Okay. And when we go to the Quran, we find that Allah has always used the word Qam to mean a generation an age, an epoch, and has never used the word karm to mean horn. So the answer is, Zulkarnain is not. Brother, look at this genius. So Zulkarnain, Allah, he used the same word, but it come as a word mean generation. And as long as Allah, he used it in different verses, and it's meant generation, well, obviously, his name is the man with the two generation. <laughs> Why this guy he did live for two hundred years? What generation? Two horns. Zulkarnain is one who impacts on two ages, two peoples. Mm. He is someone who possesses faith. Faith in Allah. The one God. We do not know which Sharia he follows. We do not know who is his Nabi. But that's not important. All that we need to know about him is that he has faith in the one God. That's all. But I will stop here. A Muslim is trying to. <clears throat> A Muslim is trying to fix the, the poopoo of his prophet. Look what he said. Mahdi, he said, the female egg is yellow. <laughs> hey, Abdul, the female egg is yellow. Really? And mostly made of water? Mostly? You, really? And nowhere the hadith says, can see the water. Really? Okay, Mahdi, in front of everybody. Are you willing to call me right now? And I will show you the word you can see the water. 
Guys, is that a fair challenge between me and Mr. Mahdi? If I can show that it is a water, you, you eat it, you just said water. How the how the egg, how the egg, when you say the egg, the egg is not water. If even if there's water inside, all your body is water. We are talking about water, literally water. Secondly, if I show you the word C, do you accept the challenge? Mehdi, do you dare to call me right now? I will open my Skype just for you. Do you dare to call me and get me busted? If the word C is not there, I will apologize from you. So what say you? Do you accept the challenge? Don't change what you said. You said it doesn't say C. It doesn't say C. So if it's an egg, egg is not something we can see. This is your statement. Still, it is fresh on the wall. Do you dare to call me? Did you say the hadith does does it say you can see the water? Nowhere you said. Which mean if it says no no I don't not, I don't want to just show you. I want to I want you to call me and then we will read it together. What's wrong? And as long you are saying Nowhere in the hadith it does it say so. That means if it says so, that means your prophet is a fraud. Is that correct, guys? He is denying that what I say to be true. Why? Because nowhere in the hadith it says, see, nowhere. So are you willing to call me and put me in the corner? Are you there? Okay, I guess now Mahdi, he sees some water between his legs already. And this is why he will never dare to call me. Is that the case, Mr. Mahdi? Did you water your legs? <laughs> hmm? What happened? He played dead now. You know, he thought no, but, uh, he thought I'm talking. I will not notice. Just show me. I will call you later. What about you call me now and I show you later? <laughs> <laughs> and here we dip the skin. <laughs> Let us go and see the hadith. And now we will make you pee and seek mercy. From the P God. Do you see the word C? Do you see the word C? This is the story. A woman, her name is Ummu Salim. She come to the Prophet and she asked him what she should do if she see a water in her legs, in her private part coming out. You idiot. And even the hadith speak about this charge. Do you see this charge? Do women discharge eggs? By the way, once I was on the beach. This is a true story, by the way. It's happened like many, many, like long time ago. If you remember once when I went to the island, which have only women have three books. Women, they were laying down. And, you know, I said, okay, I will lay down next to them because I'm trying to flirt, you know. Uh, so I lay down next to them and then I start noticing eggs coming out from between their legs like boing 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 it turned to be 
that the second those women they saw me because I'm so good looking man I cannot I cannot tell you how and then they start discharging eggs you know the whole, the women in the beach they are discharging non-stop and eggs everywhere and then the city hall they came and they gave them a fine because people they start breaking eggs on the beach which is haram haram are you there Mahdi? Are you there? Hmm? You said it doesn't say C. C B. <laughs> Man, look what the prophet said. If the woman she see, did you see it? If the woman she see, did you see it? A brother. So your prophet is an idiot. Face it. Swallow it. Take it. Anyway. <sighs> Do we have any smart Muslim here? Ah, if the, the male sex sales reveal the XY chromosome. Wow, that's so deep. Brother, that is so deep. Guys, look at this. If the male chromosome, chromosome, you idiot, your prophet, he described a discharge, water coming out. You know what? Maybe I don't understand Islam, and you Muslims are the best. So what this guy said? Isn't this guy he just said if the man have orgasm first? Hmm? I have a lot of underage here. He's looking at me. Come on, man. <laughs> He's looking at me. So he told him how it happens. إذا سبق ماء الرجل ماء المرأة في لف وإذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة. If the uh, sexual discharge of a man comes before the women. <laughs> or more than the women uh, leave it at that <laughs> they said you spoke the truth <laughs> did you hear it did you did you hear it stupid is amazing uh, chromosome brother the prophet he mean the chromosome the prophet talking about the chromosome let me show you more even your prophet, he claimed that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. From where? From their ribs. This is a chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It's like music in my ear, this chapter. It says here, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Prophet Muhammad explained everything for us. Smash Allah. So this is Ibn Kathir, and this is the Quran, and this is your prophet explaining the verse. It says here, He is created from water gushing forth. So the water we are talking about, it is orgasm, not an egg. Meaning, the sexual fluid that come out Brusting forth from the man and the women come where come out thus the child is a produced from both of them by the permission of Allah now we continue read with me Mahdi read, read and laugh proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy brother one of my biggest concern with women is their ribs if I ever get married I'm going to touch my wife everywhere except her ribs because I might damage them and then she will never have a sperm. Keep your hand away from her ribs. 
First, if you touch her ribs, she will rip you apart. Why? Because this is how she make babies. So we have a religion and we have a prophet who knows how the baby is made. The sperm of the man is coming from the backbone, not from the refrigerator. And this, the sperm of the women, since when women have a sperm, you idiot, come from their ribs, which is referring to her chest. By the way, this is not accurate because the word tarayb, and we can show you from Islamic interpretation, is the last bone in the rib, in the top of the rib, between the neck, the, the, the location where it touch, touching the neck. That is tarayb. So the stupid Muhammad, he is talking about sexual fluid gashing forth, not something inside, it's have to come out. Then they mix together those both sexual fluid and then they made the baby and the Muslim now they try to fix it says chromosome chromosome that come the prophet taught you how to come the prophet he knows everything about sex and he even can ship it to you by FedEx the chromosome that come coming from Allah oh hum. Prophet Muhammad, he knows everything. He is the idiot. No question done. La 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 la. La 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 la. The backbone is the reason. I will break your backbone. Zoom. If your woman, she is bothering you, just go and tickle her ribs. She will have orgasm. And you can sell her sperm. The beautiful Quran driving me crazy. Mashallah, mashallah. What the heck is this, man? He was talking about the time the discharge he never said the water come out from her you coward he is staying her to wash it you donkey let me show you again actually you're a prophet here is even in the Kathir he is speaking about the same hadith we mentioned in there here we go let me see where it says where is the hadith <laughs> It says here, sexual fluid bursting forth from the man and <laughs> bursting forth is the women. Egg is a sexual fluid bursting forth. <laughs> it says is created from water gashing forth. And then he go up here, he says. <clears throat> uh, uh, let us see. Uh, maybe not in the English version of it, but let's go to the hadith just to get you busted, you coward. Potato, potato, duct tape, the prophet, duct tape. Let us see. Uh, <clears throat> Did the prophet say to the women, You wash that water which is thin and yellow? Did he say that? Yes, he did. Here we go. It's in the front of you. It's about washing that water. Washing that water. Let us see. Uh, where is the hadith? Uh huh. Uh, we go by here. This one. First of all, it's water. It is thick and white for the man. It's water and thin yellow for the, man, the woman. Which one of them comes first? The baby resembles the parents. Then we continue. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Let us take this part here. Uh, let us see. And now we will get you busted.
So this is the story. It's about a woman. She have a wet dream. And she is talking about if she sees water. If she sees water. So this is a water which she can seize. You said to me, if you met a go, in nowhere it says sees, correct? Nowhere it says sees. This is what you said. People are my witness, and you are still here. Right? Nowhere it says sees. This is your argument, and now you are trying to fix it, because you are a coward. We continue. The same story, the same hadith is about the same women, Umm Salama and Umm Salim. Umm Salim, she said to him, what she should do, she should take a bath if she see that discharge. It's a discharge. And then the wife of the prophet, she said, does the women get discharged? which is a proving that your prophet, he never made his wife have orgasm. Uh, guys, look what, look what, uh, look how the Muslim, they try to change what he just said a few minutes ago. Hmm. Why Muhammad, he is talking about resemblance of the child to the parents. Because the women, she said, his wife, do women discharge? He said, yes, otherwise how the child resemble their parents? Do you see how stupid you are? So you're a prophet talking about discharge. So when you say, I know that women come out from the women, but water does not have any role in gender determination. The water that comes out from a woman isn't even yellow. I'm talking about the egg, you stupid donkey. You're a prophet describing that the water which come out is yellow. He is the one calling it discharge. Do you, can you read? So, according to your prophet, that the discharge is the reasoning for the gender stop fooling yourself everybody is laughing at you people does it say the woman she, the wife of muhammad um Salama, she smiled and she said does the women get discharged correct you stupid idiot discharge is come where this look at this donkey he keeps saying doesn't say hello look here we go this is your prophet saying it is yellow. I mean, do you see the stupid, do you see guys that those, this coward nation? It says in front of you, Muhammad describing the water and saying the water is yellow. And this guy is saying it doesn't uh, say yellow. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere show me where it says water that comes out is yellow i mean have we, are you a certified donkey how many times i need to show it to you what's wrong with this religion do they have a brain this is your question don't repeat it again i will ban you I will show you now. If you repeat it one more time, I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. Here we go. So show me where it says the water that comes out is yellow. A beach. Let us see. Here we go. The same story. This is the same story. The water of the man is thick and white. The water of the women is thin and yellow. And here we go again. Umm Salama told how Umm Salim said to the Prophet of Allah, of God, that God is not ashamed of the truth. If any washing necessarily, washing for a woman when she had a, has a sexual dream, he replied, yes, when she sees a sign of a, of a liquid 
Umm Salama covered her face and she said, Oh Allah Messenger. And by the way, the here false translation doesn't say sexual dream. The question is, do actually here is the correct. But it's not sexual dream. It's about do she have this charge? Do she have orgasm? He replied, Of course she does. Otherwise, what way does the child resemble her? And then in the version of Al-Bukhari and Muslim, and this is the most accurate, Muslim added in the version of Umm Salim, the man liquid uh, courses and white and the women fine and yellow. And the child will resemble the parents. Which one of them comes first? So when you say to me, show me where it says it's coming out, you are a liar because she have to wash it. Get out of here, coward, son of Muta. You have no dignity. When you Muslims argue, you are making a mockery of your prophet. All the hadith is about the women seeing the water. All of it about women see and the man see. And it's about discharge. Egg is not a discharge. Women do not discharge eggs. And the women orgasm is a water, according to your prophet. Egg is not an orgasm and has nothing to do with orgasm. She have a sexual dream or not, that is not the case. In fact, the women she have orgasm or not have nothing to do with her having a baby later. Only foolish people can believe in such a thing. To the point actually these days, they can take the egg of the women and they can fertilize it without even sex in the laboratory. All what they need a sperm of a man, an egg of a woman, and they fertilize them in the laboratory. And the hadith in front of you, the women, she see a sexual dream or she is touching herself. She have this charge. And your prophet says that this charge of the women is yellow. And you coward, you keep saying to me, know where it says. Why it's called this charge? Because it's coming out. What the women she want to know if she need to wash or not? Do the women wash all the way inside her womb? Or she is washing her private part? Do you see how they expose their prophet when they insist with their stupidity? Even the chapter name. Women are obligated to perform ghusl, which means wash, if they emit a fluid. I mean, do you see how you expose yourself? Don't come here again. Bring your dad with you. Do you see, guys, the chapter name? People, do you see the chapter name? What is the chapter of the name? The name of the chapter? It's about women. They have to wash if they see a fluid in their vagina. What is the name of the book? Ministration. <laughs> and the potato, he insists that this is not the water, this is not discharge, and this is doesn't say, and this is not outside. When all the book is about washing, what come outside? Do you even know what discharge mean? Cowards. They think by denying they can save the ass of Muhammad. Trust me, the ass of Muhammad have like a billion bullets already from me alone. I made his ass like my screen door. You should see my screen door, by the way. The man discharge, i.e. sperm, thick and white. The women discharge is thin and yellow. Do you see it says discharge? And what is the question about washing the discharge? This woman, she is a whore. She go to a strange man and she tell him that she was touching her vagina. 
and now she is confused. Should she wash her vagina, Prophet? The Prophet is expert in vagina. He said, yes. Yes, you should wash it, okay? Mm. Thanks to Allah, there's no YouTube at that time. Mm. But do you see, guys, how stubborn they are? Not, by the way, they knew that they are lying. A Muslim, when he see his prophet get busted, he feels so bad. He feels so angry. He knew his prophet in his heart is a fraud. So what we do? We defend him by keep lying, like move on. No, I blocked him. I don't want him here no more. I mean, it's, it's a shameful religion. The truth in the front of eye, our eyes, all of us, we can read. And yet they deny, and they say, it doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> it doesn't say that, CP. And by the way, I cannot marry Muslim women. Not just because they are Muslims. I mean, I'm worried about women. She have this charge and her discharge is yellow. What is that? This is sexual disease. And look like Muhammad, he never met, he had sex with a woman, she don't have a sexual disease. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me why the discharge of the women which she's been asked to wash. According to Muhammad, the woman, by the way, she did not say that her discharge was yellow. It was Muhammad who said that this discharge is yellow. And this charge is something she is questioning if she should wash or not. You see, it says, you know, in case a woman sees that, she must take a bath. If this is not something outside, if it is internal deep, then a woman, she cannot wash it. Right? But as I told you, I have to be honest, once I was once in the island, which is Ibn, Ibn Battuta, he visit. Has anyone heard of Ibn Battuta? Ibn Battuta is a famous, famous YouTuber, but in that time there's no YouTube. Hmm? Ibn Battuta, he, have a, a, he wrote a book about journeys he took around the world. And one of the most funny, <laughs> story Ibn Battuta he came with this guy is trying to beat Muhammad <clears throat> so Ibn Battuta brother he went to an island and this island have a lot only women actually there's no no men but the unique about this island which is I'm trying desperately to find women there they have three boobs Man, it's a dream of every man. Finally, there is hope. More boobs is coming. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do we have any Muslim have any courage, any knowledge when they tell us what those guys are talking about? So now we find that Gog and Magog, they are hiding in England? Huh? Hmm. Ibn Battuta, the Moroccan boy. <clears throat> I'm going to make a book. Uh, do we have any Muslim have any comment about the stupidity of Muhammad? So Muhammad now he discovered how the baby is made. Not to forget that the Prophet is the only one who find out where the sun set 
in hot water, spring of water, which is very, very true. I mean, it's discovered to be true. Hmm. Any Abdul? One of uh, the story of Ibn Battuta, there is a guy he did live in, in his time. And then this guy is not like, it's not like, we are not talking about the time of Adam and etc. So he met a guy, he is 350 years old. Which is true. You know? Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to join us? Yeah, Sufyan, this is Mahdi, he came back. Mahdi, you cannot fix it because you're a prophet saying that that water you have to wash. You are being stupid again. Try, try, try your best. Mahdi, he went, he changed his name, he came back. Brother, there's two water. Women have two water. Well, your prophet, he said women have one water. Secondly, your prophet is speaking about that water she have to wash. So stop being a liar. Second, number three, your prophet, he claimed that the one who discharged first control the gender. So if you try to fix the first one, the second one is wrong. If you try to fix the second one, the third one is wrong. You're a prophet, he got everything wrong. He is just a fraud. The one who discharged first control the gender. Remember that. Can you deny that? The one who discharged first. And the discharge we are talking about is yellow for the women and white for the men. And if you are saying that the yellow water is an egg, that's because you are a fool. Secondly, the discharge of a woman have nothing to do with anything, with her even having a baby or a child. Not only about gender. Women, most of Muslim women, they never have discharge. Why? Because Muslim, they do circumcision for Muslim women. So Muslim women, they cannot have discharge. That Ummu Salama, she have Ummu Salim, she have this charge because this is the beginning of Islam and women still they have their clitoris. Muslim women, they never had orgasm. Because you killed their ability. So what does this charge have to do with baby making? That is the most stupid thing ever to say. Do women who got raped discharge? Are they enjoying it to get to get discharged? You see, you are now adding things. You are again a coward liar. Where you got the word male sex sales? It says the one who discharged first. You see, you see, people. Their prophet is the donkey, and they're trying to make him a mule. Suddenly, now, the discharge become an, a, an X and Y. <laughs> no, no, no. If a male sex prevails, the eggs become more acidic. If it, come, it become more acidic, the egg is going to choose X, Y chromosome. <laughs> okay, I will go with you now. When the women discharge first, how you can switch the sentence in the front of me? I'm listening and I'm waiting for your answer. Your prophet says, if the women discharge first and he described her charge as thin and yellow, the baby will resemble the mother. Now, go. The women discharge first. 
I'm waiting. You can add the chromosome there too. Just fix it, fix it. Think about it. <laughs> if the women discharge first, how that will affect the gender of the baby? Go ahead, go ahead. Discharge first meaning which sperm gender first goes to the egg. And the hadith says if it prevails. No, it says if it comes first. Sabaka. Sabaka, which means comes first. This is, your, this is your Muslim translation, potato. Do you see it? Even your Muslim translation says, if the women have this charge first. And this charge we are talking about is something we need to wash. Anyway, I'm not going to waste more time with you. You are a donkey like your prophet and you are trying to duct tape. You can do that, no problem. But people are laughing. It's obvious. It's so clear. It is something the women, this woman, she have to wash. It is this charge. It's not a chromosome. You don't wash the chromosome. You cannot wash it. You cannot wash it. And your prophet made it so clear that this charge is a sperm. It is a sperm. And actually, let me try to find different hadith so we can love more. Or let us go to the Quran. Just to show you again that you're a prophet is mentally ill person and he is a fraud. Read carefully. This is the stupid Quran. Chapter 76, verse number 2. Verily, we have created the man from Nutfa. Nutfa. What is Nutfa? Nutfa is a semen. Do you see it? Nutfa is a semen. Somebody's asking me, do Christian women wash? Well, Christian women, uh, not only they wash, they are more clean than your prophet, because when your prophet, he wash, he jump with dead dogs and women of blood from period. This is how your prophet wash. And this is how Muslim women, they wash too, because they have to follow the steps of their prophet. So when you talk about washing, you might think that Muslim, they follow their prophet, they are really washing. In fact, you are getting more dirty because you jump in water, have dead dogs, and women blood from period, and a stinking garbage. And this is your shampoo. Do you see it? So when you say, do Christian women, they wash? It is 1,000 times better to stay without washing from this washing. What kind of a prophet he jump in water? have dead dogs and women blood from period and a stinking garbage thrown in the water. And this is Sahih Hadith. Now we go back to the Quran. Read and laugh. So the Quran made it so clear. The, the, the baby is created from Nutfa. If I copy the word Nutfa here and take it to the Hadith and just post it or take it in Arabic, what we will find, you will die laughing. Here we go. I will post it here. Let us open a different page. I will pause the word Nutfa, exactly as it is in the Quran in English. Here we go. The word is still in, in, in dark. Do you see it? The same as I copied from the Quran. So what is Nutfa? Nutfa is a drop of sperm. And this Nutfa is the mix of the women water and the man water. Let's go back to the Quran, so we love more. Here we go. Let us close this page. Chapter 76, verse number 2. A drop of mixed semen. So the drop, it's a semen, and it's a mixed semen. Semen from the man, and semen from the women. So your stupid God believe that women they have a semen the same as the man do you see it 
Can we even make it more clear than this? <laughs> not far. Not far. According to the Quran, the women, she have this charge, and that is a semen. And even your Muslim translator, he add in the bracket, this charge of the man and the women. You liar. You keep saying to me, this is not a charge. This is not coming out. This is not. This is the notfa. It is a mix of a semen. So only in Islam, the God of Islam teach that women, she have a semen. Who want to believe in such a garbage? Only the one who want to follow the stupid Muhammad. Women do not have semen. They don't. Now, if you want me to show you the interpretation of this verse, we can go and get it. Do you want? And then we will dial up in more. Chapter 76, verse number 2. Let us do it. Read and laugh. The mean of the fluid of the man and the fluid of the woman. Do you guys, did it, does it say fluid? Does it say fluid? It says a fluid, right? When they meet and mix, then the man changes after that from a stage to a stage. The man. <laughs> so according to the stupid Muhammad, it is the man's semen who will grow. And the man's semen will become a baby. Conditions to conditions and color to color. Ikrama and Mujahid and etc. And Anas, they said the statement of similar in this. And he says, Amshaj, the mixing of the man fluid and the women fluid concerning Allah's statement, etc. If you don't like this one, we can go to the front interpretation. It is seeing and love more. Hmm. Semen, huh? It's a mix of semen. Are you sure it's not a mix of hummus? A mix of semen? That is something. This is a new interpretation by a Jalalain. He's trying to fix the Prophet Muhammad's stupidity. And look what he says. It is a drop of mixed fluid from a mixture. That is a from a seminal fluid of the man and, uh, and the over rain fluid of the women and that have mixed and blended so that we may test him trying what the heck trust him so let us go a different interpretation this is the first one let's see Al Al uh, Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas is more authentic and accurate because he is the cousin of Muhammad and was existing his time so it says here Lu, we created the man uh, the progeny of the man Adam from a drop of a thick knit fluid from Adam and Eve a drop of two different kinds of a fluid that from the man, white and thick, and that from the women is being yellow and thin. Thus the brogmi come from both of them to test him with the hardship and comfort. Comfort. So do you see it? Again, the stupidity of Muhammad is coming. Didn't Muhammad say that we were in backbone of our father before our existence? Exactly. And this is the additional stupid thing Muhammad he said. If you go right now, and let me teach you how to find this backbone thing. Just go to YouTube, sorry, the, to the Hadith page. And you will see it says, just type backbone. Oh, I'm typing in Arabic, sorry. Just type backbone. And you will find another proof of Muhammad being a stupid, who he claimed that the man sperm is coming from the backbone. The backbone. 
if you remember, there is a there is a video channel for for a bunch of da'wah team, whatever they call themselves. The guy he said that when the prophet he speak about he say the backbone or the Quran say the backbone. He meant the male member. Suddenly the bone became a male member. Look what Muhammad he said. Uh, let us see. Maybe they have... Uh, I'm trying to find the hadith in English so we can love together. Uh, my keyboard keeps switching to English. Let us see. Here we go. Read carefully with me. The Prophet said, Allah will say to the person of the hellfire who will receive the least punishment, if you had everything on earth, would you give it uh, uh, as a ransom to free yourself, i.e. save yourself from fire? He will say yes. Then Allah will say, while you were in the backbone of Adam, I ask you much less than this. And this is again, prove Muhammad to be a bigger fraud. Why? Because here, according to Muhammad, the man is coming from the backbone of Adam, not a mix of water of the man and the women. You were in the backbone of Adam. Number two, which is stupid believe that we are coming from the backbone as sperm. Anyone here can confirm the backbone story? Any science agree that the semen of the man is coming from the backbone, not from next to the backbone, not from the top of the backbone, not from around five inch there, two inch there. I mean, all your body is a few inches around. Any scientist can confirm that a semen of a man is coming from the backbone. Absolutely false. God made a covenant from Adam back. From where? Adam back. And where his offspring is coming from? from his backbone. If we go here, let us see, here we go, another, another, another hadith. It says it clearly what we are looking for. See it? Do we have any Muslim? Have any comment? Any Muhammadan? Somebody saying in the Bible it says from the lion, my friend, you go there and you check it out. It says that this is the region of the sexual organs. It's not coming from the bones. So don't play game play the game there.
Muhammad, he made it so clear, is coming from the bones. And what bone? Not only the bone, the last bone in the spine. Not from between the bones, from the bone. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have any comment? Anyone? People, obviously, they have, you know, I mean, you are reading translation, and obviously you do not even know English. Go and check out in the dictionary what lions mean, and you will see. A large cut out of meat. That's why when you go to buy even meat, it says lions. Do we have any Abdul? The Arabic word there can also mean loins, not only backbone. Uh, you know, you see, you, you can go around it, but here we have a very clear evidence that Muhammad is a fool and he is making things up. Why? Because Muhammad, when he made the Quran, he said that the semen is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And this is what makes the baby. So, you want to fix the backbone issue, you cannot fix the ribs issue. Can you? Try. I will be happy to hear you. And this is Quran. And Muhammad, he did not say from the side of the backbone, he said, from the backbone. And the backbone they speak of is the last bone in the spine, the little tiny one at the end. And this is actually goes against what the Quran says in the verse we showed you in chapter 76, because it says that the baby is created from Amshaj, which is a mix of a semen. Now, how you want to fix that? I want to see your intelligence. A mix of semen. Do women have semen? Go ahead. There's, it's not up to you to say some tafsir. The Quran in front of you. Fix it. I can let you play the game with the tafsir as much as you want. And do you explain the Quran better than your prophet? You're a prophet, he spoke about this charge which is coming out. And then you are saying to me some tafsir? Which tafsir? Go show me, let's, let's love together. Why you don't call me Mahdi? You keep changing your name like a potato. What about you call me and tell me what tafsir to read and we will go and love together. And is this Quran saying that it's a drop of a mixed semen? Guys, isn't it? This is a Quran. It says it's a drop of a mixed semen. I want a brave Muslim to tell me what is semen is mixed. This is the semen of who mixed with the semen of who? Fix it. Go change your name and come back again. Try to fix it. This is a drop of a mixed semen. Semen of who mixed with semen of who? I'm waiting. Give it a try. Doesn't mean semen. Get out of here, son of Muta. Let me block you again. It's in the front of your eyes, and this is your Muslim website. You see, guys, anything, anything we show them in the screen from their own website, from their own translation, from their own Arabic, suddenly now, not for does that mean semen? 
If nutfa does not mean semen, why the Muslim they say semen? I mean, who is the stupid here? If your Quran never says semen, why your Muslim say semen? And if the word nutfa does not mean semen, can you open the dictionary, you coward? I will take the word nutfa and I will post it in the Hadith website in Arabic. Or we can use the same word actually and we can read different verse in the Quran and then people will laugh at you, they will die laughing at you. Here we go. I will paste the same word in the Quran search engine, nutfa. Hmm? Do you see it? What is nutfa? Click at the translation. Sperm drop. Do you believe it? You know, those guys, they say it does not mean semen. Do you see how they expose their stupidity? Is that your Quran? Maybe you don't like this translator. Give me a translation you like. This is Yusuf Ali. Hey Muslim, give me a translator you like. This is the eighth translation. Take a note. This is a Da'if translation. Shall we go and see what Ibn Kathir says about it? Oh, this is Da'if interpretation. Okay. Uh, shall we go and see the Hadith? Oh, this is Da'if Hadith. I mean, do you see how covered they are trying to duct tape their false prophet? Semen is a, is a sperm. It's not one semen, actually, the, the, the nutfa is a, is, a, is a drop. And drop, I mean, there's millions. Do you know what is inside a drop of a sperm? Millions, not one semen. So this is a translation is da'if. I want to I wanna change the translation one by one. We have how many translation here? I can, I'm willing to go by one by one. Ahmed Ali, number one in English. Number one in English is Ahmed Ali. Yeah. Ahmed Ali, he says, drop of semen. What the heck? Let us go to a different one. This is da'if translation, Ahmed Ali. Let us go Ahmed Raza Khan. Drop of a fluid. <laughs> Drop of fluid. Albury. A sperm with drop. <laughs> look, look what the Muslims they do. They switch between, like, I think they copy from each other. You know, they are cheating. They don't even translate just to make money. So one of them, he put the, the word to drop first and he add the words sperm after and supposedly now he is not copying, you know? And the other one, he says, a sperm first and the drop after and that does a change. So now they are really not, not copying from each other. It's a, a sperm drop. Different translator. Community Allah. Human being is made from a drop. Now it's a drop. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to drop you down. Community God, this is the same guy. Hilali Khan, Muhammad Hilali and Khan. Nutfa is a mixed drop of the male and the female sexual discharge. Look, 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 this guy is, is making it even harder for you. Do you see what it says? Huh? It's a drop, not far. It's a mixed drop of male and female sexual discharge. Now you tell me how that will make the baby. Any Muslim can tell me? Discharge. The egg is not a discharge. And nutfa is a drop. And now they are mixed together. Actually, your prophet, he claimed that if a nutfa of a man fell into a rock, will make a baby. Let me see if I can find the hadith.
محمد از دمان I don't think I can find this one in English, but I will try anyway. Because it's funny, and as long as I remember it now. So let us find it. You see, there's like endless numbers of hadith. Uh, Okay, look, look, guys. We we have a we we found a hadith which is really correct. All right, this is a very correct. The prophet he explained to a Jewish man how the baby is made. Let us use this hadith, and now the Muslim they will say we don't accept those hadith. <laughs> we don't accept it do we anything is an embarrassment they don't accept it this is Musnad Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and this is an Islamic uh, website Musnad Imam Ahmad Ahmad ibn Hanbal and then the reporter is from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and then this is value number one, page number 465. 465. I will use Google Translation, hadith number 4424. And now we will see the scientific discovery and the science, the true science, the real meaning of science. Nobody knows this except Prophet Muhammad. Let us face it. All what you need to do, I'm going to pause the link for you guys. All what you need to do, you click at Google in the side of the page and choose translation. Remember, you need to open this page with Google browser because Google translation only exists in Google browser. Kabich, let us see the surprise for those who try to refute me. Translate to English. Uh, this page is jumping. So, Musnad uh, Imam Ahmad, uh, the one reporting is Ibn, uh, Ibn Hanbal from Ibn, from, from, from Ibn Mas'ud. It says here, and this page keeps jumping. What the heck with this page? Since we cha we chose the translation, it's jumping. Oh, why it's doing that? Okay, let's try this. Okay. So from the authority of etc. etc. a Jewish passed by the Prophet, Masjid of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. He was talking to his companion, a Prophet said, uh, so he come until he down and etc. He says, what is the man is created? He said, O Jew, who is created from every semen of a man and a woman? Semen. As for the man's semen, it is a thick drop including bones and nerves. As for the women's semen, it is a thin semen, including the flesh and the blood. The Jew, he stood up and he said, this is what I used to say before. Are you there? Are you still going to argue with me and you say the prophet did not say so? Did your prophet just say women have semen? And according, yes, this is a package of semen. According to your funny prophet, the women's semen is the one is responsible for the flesh and the blood. The man's semen is responsible for the bones and the nerves.
And guys, did I give the proofs and the reference? Is that a valid reference? This is Musnad Imam Ahmad. What they will say now? Islam is da'if. Islam is da'if. Everything in Islam is da'if. Muhammad is da'if. Let us see if we can find this one in English. Hold on. Different one. Let us see. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Maybe we can find it. Look like it's not in our in the English website, even though it should be there. Uh, let us see if we can find this one here. No, it cannot be found here. Actually, I have a hadith which is very funny. Uh, Muhammad, he claimed that Fatima, his daughter, she is a semen which was a, an apple. This is another level of science. This is Ibn Jawzi, one of the biggest scholars of Islam, and this is his book, and this is from Ibn Abbas. How Muhammad he was able to have Fatima? My friend Muhammad, all your hadith is da'if. This is what we are saying here, you Muslims are da'if religion. When I show you a strong hadith, what you say, you deny it. When I show you the Quran, it says not for you, deny it. It is the Quran. It is the Quran. The Quran says not for me a semen. Okay, Muhammad, you are Mahdi coming back. Why you don't call me? And me and you, we are going to open the most accepted Islamic dictionary you accept. Is that fair, people? Why you don't call me? I will open in front of your eyes the most the script in the the the, the uh, uh, any dictionary you choose, and we will see what not for me. If not for me, in semen, it is semen. Your prophet is a scam. Read with me here. Ibn Abbas he said about the story of Fatima. Jibril he sent Muhammad. He gave Muhammad an apple. He ate the apple. Then it become as a nutfa in his backbone. And when I came down from the heaven, which means Muhammad, he ate the apple in the heaven. I did if Khadija. And Fatima, she is from that nutfa, which means she is from that apple. Am I making things up? This is Ibn al-Jawzi, and this is the reference, 1 slash 400. Let us use Google Translation, peace be upon him. <laughs> the guy who ate apple, and the apple became a nutfa, became a semen. Muhammad here, 
is trying to tell you that he was a potent man and after he ate an apple from heaven he can if again and Fatima she was an apple read carefully uh, it says here when I was taken to heaven Gabriel took me to the heaven Gabriel handed me an apple and I ate it and it become a sperm in my backbone when I came down this translation is false it says this guy no it says he jumped on her he effed her I fell onto a Khadija I effed Khadija and so Fatima is from that sperm do you see it what you will say to me is that a Sahih narration guys look at this look at this Look at this false religion. You Muslims, you are confirming that there's nothing is authentic in Islam. People be my witness. The Muslims are saying to you, warning, warning, warning. We Muslims are a bunch of liars. We lie always about the Prophet. We say things we, the Prophet never said. We put them in books. We print them. We publish them. We spend a lot of money on them. But they are lies because we Muslims are a bunch of liars. Are you saying that to us? We know that. Thank you. People, did you get the answer of Muhammad? He is saying to you that we Muslims, we fabricate stories. We Muslims, we have no authentic Islam. We Muslims, we disagree and we agree about not to agree. We Muslims, we lie about our prophet and we put lies in books and then we publish it. And not only that, we post it in the internet. And not only that, we make it in languages. And not only that, after all the crying and the drama, we say it is daif. Do you see the stupidity? So if this is true, that means Islam is not a trustworthy and nobody can trust a single word in Islam. And when you Muslim, you say Islam is a preserved, obviously it's not. And it's what you keep repeating to us every day. Islam is not preserved because if Islam is a preserved, then what are you saying to us now? You are saying it's not. And as long as Islam is based in what Muhammad said and what Allah said, then Islam never been preserved. Because we cannot trust anything in your books. Can we? The scholar reject Gnostic. My friend, you see, the scholars reject. The Christians, they reject. We don't say that if you stupid idiot. Do you see how stupid you are? We don't say that if we reject and we don't have it. It's not our book. We have nothing to do with it. You Muslims, you print it, you translate it, you post it, you keep it in your library, you teach it to your kids. But when a Christian, he quoted for you, you say it is that if. Do you see the difference? For us, we are not responsible for lies you Muslims make. And ask yourself, why you, you Muslims don't accept those Gospels, if they are true. Secondly, you mentioned Barnabas. Well, I challenge you to call me and let us read it from Barnabas and we will die laughing at you. Do you accept the Bible of Barnabas from the first century? It's not the Bible. It's not a few. It's a few verses and two pages, three pages. You Muslims are mentally ill. I mean, the hypocrisy of those people are beyond imagination. But now we knew Muhammad, he cannot have sex, but the apple made him have sex. Apple, isn't it apple was the reason to make Adam go out of heaven? Why the angel giving him apple? Hmm? Any Muslim? And not only that. You see, you are a person who keeps saying to me, Da'if and authentic, let us use something authentic and love together. 
Is this hadith authentic or it's not? And now what you will say, it's authentic, but it's authentic from the kind which is smells so bad, so we reject it. The prophet, the truthful and the receiver of the truth, informed us saying, the creation of the human gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. By the way, in Arabic, it doesn't say womb. In Arabic, it says button, which means stomach. You see it? You can take it to Google. You can use Google. I will post the link. You can just click at the same page and uh, translate to Google translation. And you will have both sides in English. And you can compare. So are you going to say now this is a Da'if Hadith? I'm waiting for you. I'm asking you who is the hypocrite now. Are you going to say that this is a Da'if Hadith? false you see when people lie about jesus that is including you a man he came 600 years after jesus he never met jesus yet he knew what happened to jesus so why you don't include him that is you and not only that you're a prophet he copy a lot of his stories from those books you just said they are lying you see how you did give a screw to your prophet you just admitted that those people are lying in those books about Jesus, but you forgot that you're a prophet. He took those stories in the Quran from those books. Like the story of Jesus creating a bird. We know where this story is coming from. And you just admitted that they are lying. Now let us focus with me. Focus, Abdul, focus. Did the other prophet say that you are collected gathered in the form of semen in the womb for 40 days? People be my witness. The Arabic does not say the baby is created for 40 days in the womb. It has become mudra, where it says that, you, look, look, look at this. It says not far. Get out of here again. Let me block you. I'm not going to talk to you no more. Guys, is it in the front of you? It says, and this is the Muslim website. I mean, people, those people will drive you crazy if you don't have patience. Do you see how much they lie? Is this a Muslim website? The answer is yes. Is this a Muslim translation? The answer, yes. Is this hadith is authentic? The answer, yes. This is Al-Bukhari and Muslim. And yet, he is saying to us, it's not true. It doesn't say that, CP. So, the Muslim in their translation, they say semen, but it's not semen. And notice, the Muslims are very peaceful people. So you, as a Muslim, you make a website. It's called sunnah.com. Millions of Muslims, they go to the website every day. And nobody complain about this. Huh. Nobody. Nobody call and say, hey, brother, why you are saying semen there? Well, it says in Arabic, nutfa. And nutfa is a semen. And we can open the dictionary right now. Nutfa in the Quran always come in as semen. So your translation is a lie, according to you. Your websites are a lie, according to you. Your reference, your proofs, your books is a lie, according to you. We agree. And that's why we are here. We are here to prove that you Muslims are no better than your prophet. He lie, you lie more to cover his lies. And you think by lying more to cover his lies, the first lie is not there no more. I'm showing my proof. I'm not making a statement. This is not a statement. This is a proof. This is a proof. Do 
Do you see it? And how in the world you are collected, the drops of semen, they are collected, guys. It's like you have a pot, and now more and more and more semen is coming inside the women for 40 days. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? And look at this translation here trying to fix it. Collecting material, brother and sisters. The prophet, he said, collecting material. <laughs> so you are inside your mother womb, and now the womb is collecting material? Brother, can you give me the screwdriver from there? Yes, brother, and don't forget the wrench. Uh -huh. And give me the, the screws too. Don't forget the screws so we can screw them. You are collected material inside your mother womb for 40 nights? What are we collecting? Is that al-Bukhari? And then the collected material for 40 days in the womb of the mother will become a clot of a thick blood for 40 days too. Science. It's a pure science. Is that authentic hadith or this is a collected material full of garbage? <laughs> this is a Bukhari. 40 days, Allah collecting you as a semen. Then 40 days after, you will become a blood, thick blood, a clot of a thick blood for a similar period, 40 days. And then you will become a flesh for a similar period. So the total for the baby to be is 120 days. What you will say? It's a lie. It doesn't say that, CP. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Let us see a different hadith. Mr. Collected Material. You are a collected drop of semen. And that semen will become a piece of a congealed blood for a similar period, 40 days. Muhammad, he, before he starts saying this story, he watched Ali Baba and the 40 thieves. And since then, he stuck with number 40. Every stage of the baby is 40 days. Check the science, brother. It's true. It's true. It's true. Hmm? 40 days, 40 days, 40 days. You see it? 40 days. Huh? Is that a weak hadith? No. But we will make it hadith because this is an embarrassment. Hmm. The creation of one of you is put together... <laughs> I love it when the Muslim, he tried to fix it with the translation. Listen, listen. Actually, in Arabic, it says Yujma. So he is not, I mean, he's very close in translation. He is put together in his mother womb for 40 days. I mean, look at this, man. You are put together in your mother womb for 40 days? What we put together in 40? What took us 40 days and we are putting together now? Muslims, we want to help. Any Abdul? The answer is very simple. Allah is collecting semen for 40 days. Just go to the previous one because Muhammad repeated the same story many times. And in different hadith, he make it so clear it is a semen. This is Sahih. Let us see this one. Hmm. This is Sahih. Let us see this one. The same thing. 40 days, 40 days, 40 days. Do you see it? What you will do with this garbage? So you must tell you try to cover one mistake, second mistake, third mistake. But as you see, this is endless. And all of this is authentic. Hmm?
Do we have anyone want to try? But I like the hadith about Muhammad eating an apple and the apple became Fatima. <laughs> you know, Muhammad, he forgot that apple was what make Adam get out of heaven. Why you are eating apple? In heaven, why angel giving you apple? Why apple? Stupid. The angel gave him an apple, then he gay and he go and he if his wife. Let me see if I can find this hadith here. Would be good. If not, we can show it in Arabic. No problem. Let us find it in Arabic so we can laugh more. <coughs> This guy, he said, that the word nutfa does not mean semen. This is the book of Faidul Qadir, value number 6, page number 285. Hadith number 9265. Muhammad, he says, you see, he is using here the word nutfa, which the guy, he denied that nutfa is a semen. نطفة الرجل بيضاء غليظة ونطفة المرأة صفراء رقيقة فأيهما غلبت صاحبته فالشبه له So anyone it is uh, uh, become more or he have he have uh, uh, like uh, he have orgasm first or he have more orgasm the baby will look like the person which mean if the women have orgasm first or if the woman she have more orgasm, the baby will look like the mother. Translate to English. What is the word nutfa? Semen. The man's semen is white and thick, and the woman's semen is thin and yellow. Both are semen. And then he says, so which one of them has, uh, uh, the translation here says overpowered, the resemble will be with him and uh, they are all together um, you know which means they mix together and they make the baby so as you see Muhammad he made it clear that it is an orgasm it is something called discharge and the egg is not an orgasm have nothing to do with orgasm and the woman she can have orgasm from now until next year but maybe she will never have an egg because women who have no period no more they have no eggs still they have orgasm as simple as that uh, let us see the different hadith This is an authentic hadith, but we cannot maybe we cannot find it in English. Um, Yeah, this is. Yeah, but I mean, here, another, another stupid of Muhammad, look, he is saying that the drop of semen stay in the womb for 40 nights. This is an agreement with the other hadith. And then he will become a blood of congealed blood. And then he become a blood clot. And then lump and flesh. And then Allah, he sent an angel. Uh, it is the same. 
Let us see more. Look how Muhammad, he cannot even make the same story. He cannot repeat even the same story twice, correct. In the previous story, Muhammad, he said that Jibreel, he gave him an apple. In this hadith, Jibreel gave him a lot of fruits, all kinds of fruits. Let us see which book we can find it. I found it already in Google Library, but Google Library, you cannot translate from Arabic to English. But I see it only in Arabic Library. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do something else. All right, I found this one. It's called Mizanul Atidal to the Imam al Dhahabi, value number two, page number 518. Here, Muhammad repeating the same story, but he is adding more fabrication. In the previous one, Jibreel, he gave him an apple. Here, while Muhammad was going uh, in the heaven, he was telling Aisha, he called her Humaira, which means Muslim they say it means a blondie or redhead but in Arabic we know this is a word you say to insult somebody you call him a donkey in Allah لما أسرى بي إلى السماء أمر جبرائيل فأدخلني جنة so when Allah he took me up to heaven he ordered Gabriel so I was entered into the heaven and then he stood me by a tree I never saw something more like more nice smell than this tree and nothing more tasty than its fruit and then Gabriel he came and he start wiping which means he wiped the fruits and he gave me and then Allah he made it from that fruits in my backbone a semen when I went to the earth I did F Khadija and then each time I miss the smell of that tree in heaven, I smell Nahru Fatima, the guy he sniff the chest of his daughter. Translate. So he said to Aisha, uh, O oh, Humaira, he called her Humaira, as we say it, Humaira. Uh, the Muslim, they say it means redhead, which is very weird. I mean, why Aisha, she's a redhead? I mean, she is a European, she is what? Then, when God took me to heaven, Gabriel uh, ordered, uh, Allah, he ordered Gabriel, actually, to enter paradise, which means to make Muhammad enter paradise, and put me next to a tree. I did not see best smell than this tree, nor best fruit. And then Gabriel, he rubbed and he fed me. So God created from, from it, which means this fruit, in my lions, a sperm, a semen. And when I came to the world, I jumped on Khadija. And I did boom, boom to her. And she got a child. And each time I miss the scent of that tree, I smell the chest of my daughter. You see the area where the ribs and the neck, this is where Muhammad he smell. So he can smell the tree. Hmm. This is Muhammad. A fraud, a liar, 
a story collector. And by the way, I believe Muhammad never have a child. Fatima never been here as a child for a very simple reason. Her age, secondly, the Muslims don't agree about her age, by the way. But secondly, uh, if Muhammad he can have a child, then all the women he have as wives. How come Khadija, which is the oldest between all of them, and she is really old when he married her, she will give a baby birth, but yet the youngest one, or the younger one, they could not. They could not. When Muhammad, he died, Aisha, she was 18. Why Aisha, she never have a child? Not to mention the rest of the women. He cannot. Hmm. Any Abdul? But you see today, it's a great example how the Muslims, they are desperate, try to defend, but they are overwhelmed by their own website. They wish that those websites never, never exist. And actually, I'm very thankful for the Muslims who made those websites. You know, before, when I used to go and speak against this cult, I don't have Google translation like now. Everything is in Arabic. And I have to translate myself. And then what the Muslim, they will say, he's lying. It doesn't say that. He's giving you false translation. Now we have their own website. We have their own translation. And yet we show it to them. We post the link. Everyone knows that this is a website owned by Muslims. And everyone knows that they can go and check those hadith. We have the number. We have the reference. We never say anything without showing the reference. We mention the Quran as an example. The Quran says that man, man is created from a nutfa. The Muslim, they say, drop of a mixed semen. Muslim, they say, there's no semen. Why Muslim lie to us then? Do we have any Muslim who have anything to say? Hmm? Any proud Muhammadan? And Muslims, regarding your action today with uh, Salman Rushdie, trust me, you are encouraging us to do more work. And you are asking people to be, each one of them, Salman Rushdie or Christian Prince. If you think you can stop us from exposing your stupid prophet, you are badly mistaken. As you see, we don't back down. And now actually people, more people will read his books. The guy is already old, 70 something, 75. And obviously your God is a potato. He cannot even take his life. So he needed to take your life. And not what that will do. Now every single person in the world will understand that yes, Islam is a disgusting, filthy, terrorist cult. No question. Few days ago, two days, actually yesterday, we spoke about hate crimes. The fact Islam itself is a hate crime, as you see. Why you want to kill this guy? Because you worship hateful God and your heart is full of hate. And because of your hate, you cannot take it 
that somebody is getting your false prophet busted. So I say to you, the shoe of this man is better than your God. Right? What you can do about it, even if you die. So this book will be very famous forever. The Queen of England, she gave him a title, Sir. Now he will become way more famous in England. People will invite him more. What, what you did? Stupid people. If you kill me, what you will do? You will get my book written. You know, my book already translated to all languages in the world. You will give me the best advertising ever for my work before I go. We will die anyway. If you think we fear death, you are stupid. You see, people who fear death, they will not open their mouth speaking about such a filthy terrorist like Muhammad. They will not do that if they are cowards. So obviously this guy, he is not a coward. And if you think you can stop people from laughing at your prophet, you are badly mistaken. Your prophet is a stupid, he's a fraud, he's a scumbag, he's a child molester, he's an idiot, he's a liar, he is Satan. What you can do about it? Show me. Do you see how much we are scared? Do you see how we back down? You scared us, buddy. Do we have any question? Anyone have a question? I have one wish for this man. I don't know if he became a Christian or not. I think he's still atheist, right? I have a wish that this guy before he go, not now, I, I, I pray that he will not die, but I hope that he will save himself and he will accept the Lord as his savior. I hope so. He left Islam, that's good, but still he's not saved. I pray that he will accept the Messiah and he will be saved. Uh, no, my friend, uh, nobody has power to kill me. So what if you can? I mean, if, if this is how uh, we, we will die anyway. But the question, you know, you see, people who fear death, they have no life. Because then he will never be able to do anything. Do you know how many people die every day in the highway? The highway is the biggest killer machine in the world. How many car accidents cause death in USA every day? If you check the numbers, you will see that this is the biggest number of death. It's not even cancer. But people go to the highway. Right? Your fear is your enemy. Your fear will stop you from enjoying life, from being free. You will become a slave of fear. Never let fear slave slave you. And you know, for us as a Christians, Jesus he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. So why you will fear death? We are believers. You know, death for us is just a new, a new start, actually. It's just a life. It's not really death. It is a life. A believer who die, he will live. And even if you are an atheist, never let people force you to believe in something. You don't believe in it. doesn't matter what it is. Even if it is the Christians. Because... If they force you, that is hypocrisy. You don't believe, but because they force you. So you aren't a believer anyway. So what's the point? Can you post the hadith for the apple? I did. Maybe people, they can post it again for you. Go back in the chat and you can see it.
Helen, she is saying, I am a former Muslim. Uh, I have learned that he, Muhammad, he have a son who died on his childhood. Who is that son coming from? Well, if you go and read some reference, you will see that Aisha, she keeps saying to him, he don't even look like you. How this guy can be your son? Muhammad, he have no children. And let us say Muhammad, he had a son and he died. Muslim believe in destiny. Why Allah killed the son of Muhammad? Is that because he have mercy on him? You see, every all Islamic story does not make sense. Who is the one who caused death? The Quran says Allah. Who is the most beloved person to Allah? Muhammad. Why Allah? He caused death to the most beloved person to Allah. You see, when the story of Abraham is stolen from the Old Testament about Abraham being asked to sacrifice his son. How come, and I'm not going to quote the Bible now, how come the God of Muhammad in the Quran, he sent exchange of the sacrifice or sacrifice of Isaac uh, to Abraham, but he will not save the child of Muhammad. Muhammad never had kids, and even the Quran says it clearly that Muhammad never was the father of any of your men, any of your males. Never. Chapter 33, verse number 40. Muhammad never was the father of any of the men or male amongst you. He's not. There's other chapter in the Quran made it even more clear. al kawthar a man, he accused Muhammad that he is cut off. The Muslim, they try to fix this issue. They say cut off from every good thing in this world. In fact, the man is saying that he is after he have no penis. He cannot have kids. It's about having babies. So, as you see this person, even his enemies, they were putting him down, which is not right. I mean, if a person, he cannot have kids, that doesn't make him bad, correct? But this is the trashy bully society of the Middle East. Muhammad was a bully, and his cousins and his family, they are bullied too. So, they bully each other. So, but what is in the book is confirming that Muhammad is cut off. And here you will see that the God of Muhammad cannot fix this issue. So what he promised him? He promised him a river. It's called al kawthar What that will do to Muhammad? The guy is talking about he cannot have a children. You promise him a river. What, what that is for? Is that going to fix the problem? Any other question? And our friend here, Helen, 
Uh, why you left Islam, Helen? Her name is Helen. Helen, yeah. Why you left Islam, Helen? Do you like to tell us? When you will finish the Quran translation, in order to finish the Quran translation, I have to stop coming here for some time. Like three, four months, maybe two months, three months, maybe. So do you, do you want me to stop coming here for three months? Are you guys willing to give me vacation? Let us vote. Who want to give me a vacation for three months where I will not come here at all? Ibrahim is from Mary the Copt, and Mary the Copt is a slave, and she sleeps with many people. Even when she, when uh, even the accused in the time of Muhammad, that Mary baby is from her cousin. Then Muhammad he sent, I think it was Omar, to check the cousin, and he found that the cousin have no penis because the slaves, they chop their penis. You guys, you don't want to give me a vacation to finish the Quran translation? Man, oh man. Okay, because we are Arab and we believe in vote, I decide to take vacation. <laughs> as long as you don't agree. Was Muhammad circumcised? No, never. And you can challenge any Muslim to show you the reference. Never. And this is one of the irony of the stupidity of this religion. They go and they say to you, Paul, Paul is the one against circumcision. And then you find that their prophet himself never gets circumcision. <clears throat> uh... You left Islam because of polygamy and 72 virgins in heaven. Well, you know, for me, I, you know, I look at the polygamy issue. Not enough to prove that Muhammad is a pervert. But it's an additional proof of him trying to, you know, to, uh, uh, to take advantage. As an example. You see, if Muhammad, he come with the law, it says you can have four wives. And then you can give the excuses for the four wives thing. But then you will find that Muhammad, he don't go by the law, which he brought. Muhammad, he can have a big number of females and no limit for him. And then you ask yourself, if this guy is coming with religion from God, why this religion does not go for him? You know what I mean? So imagine you made me a sheriff for a town and then I put traffic lights and the red you stop, the green you go, the yellow you wait, then we make, uh, you cannot park here, you cannot, this is here for disabled, but then me, I can park everywhere, I can cross the line for no cause, for no reason, except I am the sheriff. You know what I mean? So, all cult leaders, they share one thing. They want your money, and they want your women. If you remember, one of the privilege of Muhammad. Anyone remember this privilege? Number 16, who remember what number 16 is? Number 16, number 10. The privilege of Muhammad, if his eyes fail into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her is it this is enough to prove that muhammad is satanic and he is evil what kind of a decent man he make that a privilege from his God this is the book of Al-Qurtubi and as usual we don't say things without proofs Al-Qurtubi is a Muslim Sunni this is not Shia variant number 14 and this is the page number 
And here it says that Muhammad, he have many privilege and they are counting the privilege. What is the privilege number 10? إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها وحل له نكاحها Translation Number 10 Here they are counting for you the privilege all of them they are about sex about money sex and money So number 10 if his sight falls on a woman, her husband must divorce her so the Prophet can ever not marry her. How would that make Muhammad the Prophet to you, anyone? What do you think? Imagine a, a person he is teaching you decency, supposedly. A person he is ordering the women to cover themselves, supposedly. Then if his eyes fall into your wife you must divorce her immediately so he can if your wife all cult leaders share one thing or false priest or false Christian priest doesn't matter there's many of those the Lord, he told us about people who wear clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. What does this have to do with God? How that serve God? How that can be about God? So now you are a prophet, you go to visit somebody, you see his wife. The wife, she is so excited. The prophet is coming to visit them. This is a big honor. The husband is so happy to have you. And now you are staring at the wife ass. Excuse my language. And now the wife is yours, prophet. And this is the link. You can check it out. I made it short. I made the link short. Let me know if it's working fine. And again, this is Al-Qurtubi. This is not a Shia book. This is a Sunni book. Yeah, and Aisha, as Amelia, she said, uh, Aisha, she noticed that Muhammad is a pervert. She said, oh, oh, I see that your Lord, he has to for your sexual, your lost. She saw it. She knew that he is a fraud. Any sexual desire, Allah is ready to fulfill for Muhammad. I felt jealous from of women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger. Allah, He told him, any woman she can offer herself to you, Prophet, so you can if her. So Aisha, she felt jealous, and she said, "Huh." I, th I see that your Lord, it seemed to me that your Lord has to satisfy your desire. Do you see it? And this is Sahih. Aka Pocatin, he's saying, what about fake Bible? which is a change by so-called fathers. As long as you know that there is, was a fake Bible changed by the fathers, that means you have the original Bible, which is not a change. Because in order to compare between the one, in order to find that it's a change, then you need to get the original. Can you show me the original which you think the fathers they change it are you there in the same time 
when a Muslim he says such a stupid statement, are you saying to us that the Bible which sent by Allah, anyone can change it? Hmm. Right? Hello, CP. If I go, if you go to vac uh, vacation, how and who is going to defend us? We Christians, so make, my friend, you do not need my defense. What's wrong with you? Are you weak? If you are a Christian, you are no weak. Why you are weak? Who am I to defend you? Don't don't say those things. So after all the the thousand and thousand of videos and thousand of hours spent here to teach you, still you need me to defend you. So what's wrong with you? Are you going to the gym and your training is useless? So Aka, can you show me the original Bible which sent by Allah? I cannot debate one V, one V on this hadith because a man can manipulate if you only take about something like this father anyone understand what this guy is saying i'm getting dizzy thank god we have another prophet muhammad is making quran again muhammad is making quran allah knows best what he meant Aka. As long as my book is changed by the fathers, why your prophet, he take an oath in it? Hmm? I mean, your prophet must be stupid, huh? To take an oath in a book, it changed. Actually, I'm willing to make Aka an admin here in our chat if he can show us the verses of a breastfeeding for adult because really I like those verses it is my hobby you see I like guns I like hunting and I like breastfeeding excuse me I have to say a truth I never heard of a God He make verses ordering women to give their breast to a strange man. And supposedly <clears throat> that will fix a problem. He Muslims, any one of you would like to send his wife to me to fix my problem. I have a problem. Any help? Even Aisha, you see the Muslim books, thanks to Allah, is not corrupted, but we cannot find those verses. The Quran is totally preserved, brother, totally. And they claim that the goat ate it. This is a lie. Obviously, the one who ate those verses is the Muhammadan. Uh... What is the top three hadith books for a Shia? Uh, you know, you can say like Al Kafi. There is a, like actually there is a, a big list, but maybe Al Kafi is the most uh, uh, most important book for the Shia. The rest is like is the same, but Al Kafi is the top. And the band in the sect too, because Muslim sect uh, Shia sect is not one. Any Muslim is proud about his prophet and his God who is teaching women to give their boobs. Honestly, I have a problem. I'm thirsty. And the bottle in front of me is almost empty. I will drink the last drop on it here. Yeah, there's more. Imagine if Allah he can send us a beautiful female and she have big boobs and we suckle each time. 
if you are going to lie about Allah, why you don't kiss my shoe? You can say what you want about my God, but my God never wore diaper like yours. Okay? It is see if your God wear diaper or not. I want you, Mansoor, in front of everybody to accept that challenge and I will show you your God wearing a diaper. Big one. Is that fair, guys? In front of everybody. Actually, your God diaper is a big, huge diver collecting his ejaculation. And this diver will explode in the day of judgment. And then the ejaculation of your God will burst out, coming from under his chair. Do you want to challenge me? And now here we need to ask ourselves, why the ejaculation of Allah is coming from his ass, not from a penis. Simply, Allah don't have a penis, Muslim, they say. Let's go and see if we can find some reference. I'm typing in Arabic while I'm searching in English. Hold on. <clears throat> oh boy. Is that the one? Okay. Let us see this one here. I'm going to find the video actually, but I found my video. There's no sound. Okay, let, us, let us see here. Strong people, strong suggestion. Pay attention. Just from the language of the Quran and just from the context of the Quran, we give it the presumption, but not the certainty. <laughs> so that's the strong inkling, strong suggestion Jesus is coming in the Quran. It is not actually anywhere in the Quran, but khair. Hey, just eat it. Come on. You see, just to I'm just trying. Actually, I wish I can find the original video so we can play just the video without it my comment. Yes, the Quran seems to have a very strong indication that uh, Isa is coming. However, it is not definitive and it is not conclusive in and of itself. Abyss, hello. Abyss, hello. Strong. <laughs> strong, people. Strong suggestion. Pay attention. Just from the language of the Quran and let us move a little bit so we can laugh and let us see the ejaculation of Allah. You see, let us move here, let us move, let us move, let us move. Where is the story? Here, here, here. Ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud. First of all, Ibn Mas'ud begins by saying that the Christians claim Jesus will come. You okay. see this belief creeping in. But anyway, check this out. Hmm. More interesting. You know, this guy, by the way, is mentally ill. I mean, Ibn Mas'ud, he said that the Christian they claim, but the Hadith says the Prophet said the Messiah will come, and even he told them where he will come back. He told them even the location. But anyway, just for a laugh, continue. Interesting. Check this out. I want to bring your attention. Elaborate detail on the end of time. What's going to then happen is 
look at all of this. What will he goes through in you know details? This is going to happen. That's going to happen. A wind is going to come. Yeah, Juj, Matt, Juj are going to come. People are going to die. All this stuff. But then, what's going to happen after this utter destruction? Now, this is the hadith. He was saying, Yahya uh, 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 Yasser Qadi, that we can't question with reason. Put together, too many of the Sahaba have narrated it, and therefore, uh, predominant, you know, Sunni methodology basically is that mutawatir a hadith. Uh, are certain you feel the it's not vanni it's not something that is subjective it is something that is certain the notion of rejecting mutawatir a hadith simply because it is not rational right that's to me the fundamental uh difference between this strand of islam versus the bulk of ahl sunnah or the bulk of sunni islam so now check this out what does the hadith say at the end when there's utter destruction how will this be brought back? Then Allah will set. Now, <laughs> I have to translate this so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send. There's a fluid from beneath the arsh. Where is the guy? The guy who was here about his God, Mansur. There's a fluid will come from the diaper of your God, Allah. Listen carefully. Which will ejaculate like the sperm of men <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm whoa people let me repeat yeah, look at it for yourselves Thumma you bring your attention elaborate detail on the end of time what's gonna then happen is look at all of this what will he goes through in you know details this is going to happen that's going to happen a wind is going to come yeah juj mat juj are going to come people are going to die all this stuff but then what's going to happen after this utter destruction now this is the hadith he was saying yahya uh, 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 yasir qadi that we can't question with reason put together too many of the sahaba have narrated it and therefore uh predominant you know sunni methodology basically is that mutawatir a hadith uh, are certain you feel the qata. It's not vanni. It's not something that is subjective. It is something that is certain. The notion of rejecting mutawatir a hadith simply because it is not rational, right? That's to me the fundamental uh, difference between this strand of Islam versus the bulk of Ahl Sunnah or the bulk of Sunni Islam. So now check this out. What does the hadith say at the end? When there's utter destruction. How will this be brought back? Then Allah will set. Now, <laughs> I have to translate this, so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send. There's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, whoa, people. Uh, what, what, what? And what, what is the. <laughs> and then later he will put an umbrella. That's enough. So when Mansour he speak about his God, look like Mansour he do not know that his God he sit in the top of a rooster. He do not know that his God ejaculate. He do not know that his God have an empty inside. He do not know anything about his God. So as long you are saying your God don't. Wear a diaper. Are you saying your God Allah is naked? Because he have a body. In fact, the Quran says your God Allah is a female and he wear a veil. Is that your Quran saying that? Hmm? Chapter 45, verse number 51. So when you say your God is not wearing clothing, you are a liar. And not only he wearing clothing, he is wearing a veil of women. Are we there? 
who is a Muslim here have a ch challenge for me? Listen, I am here for three years and I am already tired. So this is your this is the best time for you to win if you challenge me. Any Muhammadan? I, I just told you I'm very tired now. This is the, this is why I said I wish Allah will send me a woman to do breastfeeding for me. MashaAllah. When Muslims tell you that they are only one God in Islam, what you can tell them in return? For my friend, if somebody he have one God or ten God, that will not make you have a privilege. Who care if it's one God or ten or seventeen? The question is, you have one God, but he's an idiot. Is this stupid? I mean, he's one God, but he thinks the sun set in muddy water. And women have a semen coming from the ribs, and men have a semen coming from the backbone, and uh, 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 hail coming from mountains in heaven from the sky. Uh, and I mean, it's endless. So, a Muslim, he believe he's one, he have one God. So, what that will do? I mean, what what the, how how that work? same time the Quran says obviously that Allah cannot be one why because Allah he says if he wanted to take a partner you know we will take it from ourselves if we are going to do so if we want to take a partner a wife to have sex with we are going to take that partner from ourselves so if Allah is one, how he will marry one from his self? I'm using the word marriage, not to F now, because I want to be polite. Do you see it? CP, would it be an honor for a man to kiss the side of the prophet Billy? I don't know about that. I think... Uh, look like it's more honorable if you go down in that area. You know what I mean? So if it's an honor for a man to kiss the side of the belly of a prophet, why they don't go to his balls? I think this is more honorable. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Look like the location is it important to be down. I mean, we have to honor the Prophet, don't we? So what we do? We kiss down, keep going. The more down you go, the more honorable you are. You know what I'm saying? You know the thing. I hope I did answer you. Anything else? I never heard of somebody honoring by somebody by killing the side of his belly or down his belly. Not even Billy Jones. Any Mohammedan? Can we talk about womb that is a chained? to Allah throne uh, we can talk about anything uh, but what do you want to talk about I mean what exactly you want to want to say there's many stories about those things but every Muslim will give you a different answer Uh, Aisha she said let me show you the hadith you are talking about Aisha she said the messenger of Allah said the bond of relationship is suspending from the throne 
and he says who keep good relation with me Allah will keep connection with him uh, you see here the Muslim in translation they change the word Rahim to something else became relation that's why I said to you Muslim they will play games with it the word Rahim they translate it as a, a relation not as word mean uh, womb so you look the tie of the kinship this is what you are talking about the Muslim they switch it upside down so the word Rahim is not exist no more this is why always uh, the Muslim translation uh, 90 maybe 97 98 percent is a deception and if there is a true translation it uh, I believe it's a mistake I mean it's a it is I cannot say an honest mistake I, I can say it's a mistake of a liar who uh, forgot to lie here you know yeah so they will they will find a you know find a solution for it anything else <clears throat> can you tell us what happened to Amina until her death uh, did she even see Muhammad before her death you see even the Muslim didn't have any any true stories about Muhammad the books of they call like the biography of Muhammad it's a mix of crazy stuff like as an example in the same stories they say that when the mother of Muhammad she gave birth to him a light came from her vagina went all the way to the palaces of Damascus now if you ask yourself who in the world want to believe such a garbage that is silly and this stupid what vagina and what light you know yeah silly but when you are silly you can say as you wish you can make uh, up stories no. somebody says we do not hate Islam I don't agree Islam is a, is a religion everyone should go against it's satanic so we hate Satan therefore we hate Islam but we don't hate Muslims Islam is a religion we hate the religion of the devil but we don't hate Muslims Do we have any Abdul have a courage or knowledge to stand up? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and give me one single proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Just one. Anyone? Can you do how Allah and his angels pray in Arabic? I don't know what they mean, can you do? Are you saying, can you answer? Well, he pray. How he pray? He pray. You know, it's a stupid statement anyway from Muhammad. Because by doing that, Muhammad, he made himself equal to God. And actually, he's more important than God. For simply angels, believers, and God all they are praying on Muhammad so who is more important the whole universe now busy in one person and this is saying that Muhammad is satanic he is Satan and he is trying to make everybody worship him otherwise I challenge any Muslim to tell me why Muhammad saying that angels Allah and believers all of them they are doing salah on him who is he That is very weird. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? You just let me know because my Skype is not open. If you are a Mohammedan, and especially if you are a Sheikh, in the other day we were expecting Sheikhs from Turkey, from the Hamzat movement. 
Muhammad Fathullah Golan, the guy who is the founder of the organization called Terrorist Organization against Erdogan. His sheikhs did back down and they ran away with no mercy. Any Muslim want to call us so you can convert as many Christians as you wish? Who is the oil and the olive? Who is the oil and the olive mentioned there? What do you mean who is? I'm not sure what you mean. What who? <clears throat> well, uh, spooky, I tried this uh, escort, Discord, but I found it like a bathroom. People, they enter, you don't know who's talking, I don't know how to use it. You hear voices coming from everywhere. It's like a bathroom, literally. I don't want that. I want one person to speak at a time and I can control it. This Discord is really messed up. Any Muslim would like to join us? Who is a Muslim is willing to give us one, just one? Prove that Muhammad is a prophet. Anyone? Any proof you want. You see, you, you choose the proof. I'm not going to ask you answer this and answer that. You choose it. Too many cracks? Well, you cannot have more cracks than the one in the head of Muhammad. Any Muslim? Yeah, you know, I'm not against the movement of the Turkish scholars. Actually, I like their movement. If I live in Turkey, actually, I will join it. My favorite movement, it was Yahya, Harun Yahya movement. Man, I love his movement. Actually, always when I see his movement, I say to myself, why I'm not lucky? I mean, why? Where is my movement? You open an Islamic Dawah TV. You bring all those women, man. Look at my admins. Look at them. Look at you, Matt. He have a yeah. He he have a he have a beard of Santa Claus. This is my admins. Look at the the admins. Look at the admins of Yahya Harun Yahya. I mean, I'm telling you, life is not fair. What's wrong with this admin? I want to have an admin like this. Just one, one, just for like two minutes, three minutes. This is Dawa. This is the true Dawa team. Imagine how many people will join us immediately. That's... Oh. Maşallah, maşallah, maşallah. Aşkım ruhum hocamla sohbetimize devam ediyoruz inşallah. Buyurun hocam. Maşallah, maşallah, maşallah. Yanağında. Oops. Hepsi birbirinden şeker bunlar. Acayip tatlılar. Aman Rabbi aman. Yanağı yakışıklı hocamızın güzel sohbetine başlıyoruz inşallah. Maşallah. Hepsi birbirine bu ya. Evet, maşallah. Peki, you know, he's saying to himself, is that one of my admin too? Maşallah, maşallah. Çok çok. Yani ne varmış ki de? Maşallah. Oh boy. The maşallah is getting bigger. Nasıl tip? 
Sevimli. Şahane. Acayip bir şey. Maşallah. Acayip bir şey. Çok yaman. Yakışıklı sevgilime sohbetine başlıyoruz. Evet. Şahanesiniz maşallah. Maşallah. Bir olağanüstülük var. Evet. Var. Kendi müthiş bir olağanüstülük var maşallah. Dünyada en çok sevdiğim, en çok güvendiğim güzel aşkımla yayınımıza devam ediyoruz inşallah. Hoş geldiniz hocam. Hoş bulduk. Do you see guys? I mean, is, is that even, I mean, this is not right. Look what's happening to me. Unbelievable. I mean, enough is enough. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah, mashallah. How many times you say, you know, if I have those admins, I will say mashallah in two, every two seconds. You know, I mean, if they change their hair color, make it black, even will be, I will say, mashallah more. Man, man, man. Mashallah, mashallah. Oh. Look at this one here. I'm just trying to find something is it suitable for your age, guys. Because most of you are not fit for this program. Oh boy, look at this. Amar Rabbi Amar. Rabbi. I cannot put this in the screen. Uh, this one is okay. Oh boy, this is this is a really religious program, and we have to face it. That will bring a lot of believers. Oh boy. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. That's really something. Aman Rabbi, Aman. Oh boy. Okay. You got the point there, by the way. I mean, this is, this is a chapter two. Those legs mean verse number two. Okay. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And this is, by the way, this is the founder of the movement, Quran and Science. He is the first one who come with Quran and Science. If you don't believe me, I can show you the proof. Hold on. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. What is the name of this guy, Useless? Uh, I forgot his name. <clears throat> huh. This is Yusuf Estate. Brother of Harun Yahya, yes. it was by a strange coincidence, a very strange thing had happened. Mm -hmm. Someone had given me this book that had the head or skeleton, a skull, mm -hmm. on this book. And I thought, this is a strange looking book. Mm -hmm. And I opened it and I began to read and I thought, oh my gosh, this is finally what we're getting, high class quality mm -hmm. material for Dawah. Something I've been dreaming about ever since I made Shahada. When I entered Islam, we didn't have such a thing. And then, when I saw this book, I said, I have got to take this book with me to Columbus, Ohio, because I'm going for a speech today, and I'll take this book. Oh, and it's on my subject, which is about evolution versus creation. Oh, this. <laughs> my brother, do you see? You want to see the evolution? This is evolution. Those women, they have lips surgery, breast surgery. I mean, this is the true evolution. If this is not evolution, what is evolution? Look at this. This is evolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
This is the founder of Islam and science. Oh boy, that's a lot of evolution. We have to admit. I mean, look at the movement, brother. Look at the movement. It is, it is like angels. Those are angels from. Those are the hur. Those are the hur. Hmm. Look at me sitting here, shouting, screaming, and look what this guy is doing. I mean, I mean somebody call him. Do he need, like? Do he need a partner in the work? I mean, are you too tired? You want to take vacation, maybe? Like, you know, one week for you, one week for me. <laughs> and those Christians don't believe in evolution. Look at this evolution. Look what happened. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's a good. And look, she cannot take her eyes from him. You cannot. I mean, you cannot do that. Put yourself in her shoes, brother. You know, and what he have in his hand, that is evolution by itself. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. Evolution time. Right? If, 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 look at this one. Look at this evolution. What he is doing with her now, with this evolution here. No, no, no. I'm not going to show this one. This one is too much. Most of you is under the age. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. No, not this one. What the heck is that? Man, oh man. Leave it, leave it. Oh, this one is better. Ah, this one is an evolution. This is, we can play this one. Brother, Islamic Dawa TV. Live from Turkey. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. What take vacation? I just accepted contract to work in Turkey. Are you kidding me? I'm sick of going to Walmart and see all these scary faces there. It's time to see something. So I decided to do da'wah in Turkey. I want to invite people to Allah. Peace be upon him in Turkey. And guys, I'm going to send you videos from there. All right? Me. By, by the way, she is working hard. I mean, we have we have to make it clear. That's a lot of work. That's, and she has to keep looking at him too. I mean, she can't move her eyes. And the skirt is not even one inch. Look at the women she is sitting in the in the couch. And this is Islamic Dawah TV, and the Muslims are speaking great about Harunia here. I mean, this guy, this guy. I mean. With, with the help of those assistants, you can study the Quran deeply. Just think about it. Yeah, yeah, your hands up, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she don't even move. And what she have in her leg? She have the map of, of uh, the, the treasure of Allah? Look, hold on, hold on. They didn't let me go back. I just discovered something. I'm going to take a screenshot and try to find the treasure. She have a map in her shoulder. And she have a map in her leg. But now don't think I'm zooming in for, you know, the pervert reason. Shame on you. We are trying just to find the map. This is where the hidden Quran is. What the heck is that? This girl, she was cleaning the chimney before she go to dance? What is this? What the heck is that, man? I think this is a chimney girl. You know? I'm telling you. It's a chimney. And look, you know, just to be to be honest here, not all of them they wear short skirt. Look at this girl here. Hold on. See? Very, very conservative society. Turkey, very Islamic uh, country. You know? And Erdogan, brother. Erdogan he is a very, very perfect Muslim. Yeah, subhanallah, subhanallah. And you know, the, the funny is that everyone in this program is women. Yeah, actually, I think when he was, when he had those women, he always was reciting the chapter of the women. 
chapter number four. You know? This is a tattoo? Really? I know. I thought this is a carbon from the burning chimney. I know. This is a tattoo, really? This is how tattoo look like? Is that why they call it tat and two? Oh, look at this. This woman, she is insisting to cover her face. Oof. Look, 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 look. Yeah, learn how to dance when you are sitting. Learn how to move your shoulders. Everybody is happy. Allah make Allah make you happy when you are a Muslim. Exactly. Oh, there's guys here. Now they are playing with a drum. Oh, here we go. All right, it's getting better. Oh, look at this, mashallah, mashallah. Look at the burqa. She's conservative. She is really conservative, you know, a lot of conservative there. Oof, 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 oof. She went down. Okay, uh, don't go down again. That's too much. Let us see. Uh, next, the whole video is about her. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's change the topic. Change the topic. Let's go to the Quran. Oof. Where is the air condition? They're, they're the air condition on. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. This is Islamic Dawa TV, and all Muslims in, 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 in the Middle East, they watch it. This is number one. You know, in the Middle East, there are certain TV stations everybody have to have, and this is one of them. <clears throat> Dahman Dahman. Well, Dahman Dahman is not from the Quran. Dahman Dahman is from the Hadith. Dahman, Dahman. Dahman present like when a man is having sex, he push so hard. You know, we don't want to go more in details. You know the thing. You know? Yeah. But however, uh, this is explanation for the Quran when it speak about Dahman Dahman. So it is not the Quran saying that, but the Quran says that the people of the heaven, they will be busy in the heaven. Busy doing what? If in women. Let us go to the Quran. Chapter 36, verse number 55 and 56. So behold, the people of the paradise, today they, they should be busy. You see here it says, and they will have joy, and uh, they will do. That's false translation. It says here, They will be busy, and busy doing what? They will be busy doing dahman, dahman. And uh, if you go to Tafsir Ibn Qayyim, uh, it says, he explained uh, how, uh, uh, how the man he if his, those women uh, and how he do it. And even he caught a hadith from Al-Bukhari. Let me see if I can find, you know, uh, the hadith in English. That every man in the heaven of Allah, he will do, which means the F word, 100 women a day. I don't know why they are so weak. I cannot find it here. Uh, we can find it in different places. Hold on. Let us find it. I will find it in Arabic now, and we have to use Google Translation. Okay, this is Tafsir Adurul Manthur, value number one, page number 211. And here it speak about uh, 
all descriptions, should he? You should let me do this. I will pause this link for you guys, and you can use Google Translation because there's tons of hadith. All of them, they are about Ifin women and what kind of women they will be in this heaven. Let me pause the link for you so you can save me from the same headache. All right. So when Muhammad, he says, Dahman, Dahman, he described specifically how the physical action happened. You will not if normally, you will if so hard. And that will make every Muslim rejoice, brother. He says, Fakihun qal fifty dadil akbar, akbar, sorry. They will be busy ifing and opening the humans of the women. Um, okay, here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Tafsir al Tabari. This is verse number 55. All right, from chapter 36. Uh, it says here. In Ashab al Jannatif al Yoma fi Shuglin Fakihun, they will be busy enjoying their time. Doing what exactly? If you go down here, um, let us see, let us go and search it right away to save time. Here we go. Call. If they will be ifing the virgins opening the skin of their vagina. And this is here again. If you go to number 53520, it says, Qal they will be ifing the virgins opening their skin, the skin of their vagina, etc. Let me pause the link for you, and you can, we can use Google Translation right away here. And then we search for the number. Okay. It says, here we go. But translation is not really coming correctly. They will be busy with the fruits. The fruit is the women. He says they will be, if in the version, they will open their vagina. All right. The version break free. <laughs> Google translation is funny. So they will break the, the skin of the vaginas of those versions. This is what they will be busy doing. All right, let me give you the link. And this is again Tafsir al Qurtubi, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Metaphor. So if in a 100 women is metaphor? Okay. That's a good thing. If your wife, she finds you with somebody one day and you are a cheater, cheating like Muhammad, because you have zero ethic, tell her it was a metaphor cheating. Well, we're having metaphor sex. If she said to you how that will happen, he says, read the Quran. Those versions, I was if in them metaphorically. It's a metaphor. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it obvious? It's a metaphor. Yeah. And what what do you mean by their vagina? It's a metaphor vagina. Hmm. What do you mean the skin inside the vagina? It's a metaphor skin inside the vagina. But the problem is it obvious? No. So when the Quran speak, describing the vagina inside, a Muslim he can say to you, it's a metaphor, brother. It's obvious metaphor. Metaphor for what? The Kiev, the Kiev, brother, the Kiev, the story of the Kiev. It says here they will bleed. Yes, the Kiev bleed too. You did not hear the story of the Kiev in India bleed? You know, because there is a, there is a lot of paths inside. They take their birds inside and they slaughter them. Hmm? 
And look at the translation here. Look at the translation. You see, you change the translator, you will find yourself you are in different galaxy. Just to change the translator. Look, look, look. I just to change the translator. Look what, what happened. We're in both of those medians. Restrain their guns upon their husband, whom no man nor genie yet Mothahun has opened their hemians with sexual intercourse. Brother, sexual intercourse here is metaphor. You know what? I'm thinking to invite you all to have metaphor lunch with me. All of you, the 800, 900 people. How's that? That would be fantastic. I pay nothing. I spend nothing. I wash no dishes. It's a metaphor lunch. Even though it's almost dinner now. Metaphor. One last time, you know, duct tape. Uh, who want to work as my secretary and I will pay you metaphor salary? Let us see who's going to uh, uh, accept the job. You work as my secretary, okay? Uh, and you get metaphorical salary. With metaphorical health insurance, with metaphorical uh, uh, gas stamp, with metaphorical transportation, you know, uh, cost and expenses, and with a metaphorical vacation. I mean, we have to agree, this is the best job ever you can get. You know? Because at the end of the year, you pay nothing for the, uh, the tax government, you know? Because it was a metaphorical tax too. They say to you, where is your income? You say it was metaphorical. Sorry. Get them busted. Hey, Sarah, how are you? You want to work as a metaphorical uh, secretary? Okay, I feel sorry for you because I will give you a metaphorical chair, metaphorical table. <laughs> He will spend the whole day standing up. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I wish one of you was here to make me coffee. I need coffee. I really, I need to coffee to drink now. You see, I, I drink coffee afternoon and already it's night time. And I did not get my, I, I was, I was like, uh, uh, almost like trying to squeeze this little cup of coffee in front of me and there's nothing left. Is it okay, guys, if I go and make coffee? Huh? Which one you prefer? I hang up and go or make coffee and come back? What do you think? This is a, this is a real coffee, not metaphorical coffee. See, I don't drink, I don't like, I'm not, uh, I don't drink alcohol. I mean, sometimes I drink like beer once, maybe once every few months, maybe sometime. It doesn't matter if in the whole year I do not drink. But coffee, it's a must for me. I love coffee. Uh, hang up and sleep. I just said I want to go and drink coffee. You say to me, hang up and sleep. Okay, you know what? You go hang up and have metaphorical sleep. Okay, give me a minute. You know, actually, I have I have a machine. It makes coffee. I, I don't, uh, you know, we don't drink this American coffee, which is useless. I mean, American coffee is just water. It's just dark water. The coffee I drink is the Greek style. But, uh, you know, I, I, I found a machine, which is really good. Instead of waiting for the coffee to boil and watch it because the coffee will come up, and, you know, this machine is perfect. We'll make coffee without even being there. Let me just put the water and the coffee and I will be back. I will be back metaphorically. Oh, hold on. So, because I know that you guys, you might be bored. I will put something for you in the screen, which will make you happy. Oh, not this guy. What the heck is this? They will leave now. Yeah, here. 
that will make more people join our chat now. Let us watch the number of the viewers. Now it is 8.06. After we put this in the screen, how many they will join during the time of making coffee? Let us see. All right, we are back. Oh, the number dropped actually. We lost a hundred people. <laughs> Looked like the scenery did not work. <laughs> 
Let us change it, man. Where people go? It did not work. I thought that would bring me... Oof. Yeah, not too many Muslims. That's why I did not... Uh... If the Muslims, they see this, trust me, we will have like 10,000 now. But not too many Muslims around. Uh, let us see. So do we have any Muslim? Let us see. Yeah, let us have something really beautiful. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I have a lot of videos I took myself in my library. I mean, in my... Uh, saved videos maybe i should add them to my uh, video so when i want to take a break i can let one of them play and you guys just sit and watch and enjoy uh i did not pray play 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 huh that's why they left yeah i know uh, do we have anyone any muslim let me open my skype you know and see if we can get anybody, let us give it a chance. Maybe. Maybe not. <coughs> and my coffee is ready. Let us taste it. Hmm. Look, who's, who's, let's guess who called me and it's a missed call. From Safaraz. Safaraz is still when I uh, call me. You want me to talk to Safaraz, guys? But he called me five hours ago. I think he's asleep now. What the time now is in England? I think the guy is asleep now, right? Yeah, I think it's not time. It's a good time to call him. CP, the only is important thing, CP. Why you are asking those things, CP? There's important thing, CP. I mean, what the idiot, this guy. <laughs> it's important thing, CP. Hey, by the way, guys, I just found where, where Zulkarnain, he built the dam. It was here. I just noticed that. And this boat is Gog and Mago coming from it. Look. I just found this picture by mistake. Gog and Magog. Okay, now we will take calls from Christians if people want to call. As long as there's no more stands, what we can do. Just to give them a chance to share with us. If there's a Christian they would like to call us. You can call if you want. Safaraz is off a grid. I think the heaven of Allah is off a grid too. You see, the Quran says that they will be restrained in their tents <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> so you will live off a grid, busy just having sex in your tent. All of this is inside the tent. Hmm. You know, Muhammad, as a Bedouin man, still his heaven is full of tents. You do not know better. We have a Muslim trying to call us. Muhammad, his name is Muhammad Ali. Let us see Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Hello? Are you okay? 
Are you okay, Abdul? Yeah, son of Muta. Nobody heard you anyway. <coughs> so all the sounds you made of a donkey is gone with the wind. Okay. Do we have any Muslim? You see, Muslim, this is the good thing about my system. Your voice will not go through unless I allow it. So you can call me anywhere you are. Yeah, we laugh. Hmm. Uh, there is a hadith actually Muhammad he mentioned I don't know if I can find it in English but uh, let us see Which is a weird. Uh, I don't think I will find it in English. Let us see something different. Mm hmm. Yeah, if we look at this hadith as an example, I think this one we can find it uh, in the English website. Let's find this one. This is what will a Muslim supposed he will have in the heaven. Uh, Muhammad he said that in the paradise. It, there would be a tent made of a single hollowed pearl, the breadth of which would be 60 miles from all sides. And here is the question, I don't know if somebody can help. There was, when the first time the word mile was used? Anyone can help? When the first time the word mile was came, came to existence. Was it exist in in the time of Muhammad? Because obviously people they know what this mile. If this is what he said, right? When he says sixty mile, well, that means people they knew what mile is. When the first time the, the 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 this kind of measurement is used, maybe Prophet Google can help you. So you know, like in the heaven of Allah, obviously you will be of of a grid. And look how big the tent. Sixteen mile. And actually it's a proof again that Muhammad is a fraud because in different place he said that the, the tent of a Muslim is from uh, Mecca all the way to Ajabia, which is supposedly in Damascus. First time is in 19, uh, 1593, sorry. So if, if it's a 15th century, then how this word exists in the Hadith? I don't know, people are giving different numbers. Any Mohammedan here?
I want to get that tint. The mile measurement first introduced in 1593 during the, re the region of the Queen Elizabeth. Okay, then this hadith here is a fabrication. Right? And actually, the same word in Arabic is the same word in English, mile. You see, this is the same Arabic word, is the same as English. When you read it, it says Setun and Mil, and Setun is a word mean, 60, and Mil is mile. See it? Any Mohammedan? Is it really possible that this thing is added long after, I mean, 15 centuries after that? I don't know. Any Mohammedan is here. Nobody want to call us, no Mohammedan, no Christians. We better maybe take a hike and go drink my coffee outside and the mosquitoes will eat me alive. You know, the time when it is like uh, like around eight, eight something, this is when the mosquitoes, they are really hungry, like early morning and you know the sun uh, set time. You know the summer sunset uh, get late, so stay really late. Yeah, it's weird that the tent is not a green because everything in heaven supposedly is a green. But this is from pearl, and it is hollow from inside, uh, and it's uh, sixty mile. But remember, 60 mile is not big because if your wife, she will be, her ass alone is one mile. So I don't know how he can even have them inside. If the ass alone, if the man will be 90 mile tall. Do you often hiking? Well, since I lost my Muslim wives, which she have like one mile ass, I don't have a place to hike for now. Otherwise, I used to hike always over her ass, and it was really tough mission because it's so smooth, very hard to, to to you know to grab anything. But thanks to the hair in her ass, I was able to accomplish the mission. But it's very hard. You know, you grab the hair, and then you can go and do it. Otherwise, the skin itself is very hard. It was round, big, and beautiful. Mashallah. Uh, let us see here. I wish you guys would speak Arabic, you will die laughing. The description of the, the stint, which is you see in the hadith here, 
It is 60 mile long, as you know how long it is, but the height of it is 100 kilometer going up in the sky. Let us see here. If you're reading me here, translation to English, the explanation of the hadith about the believer, they will have a tent, which is made from single hollow pearl. He said, Ibn Mansur told us from blah, 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 okay. Uh, he said, uh, the believers in the paradise will have a tent of a single hollow pearl. And then he said, uh, okay, so the length of the uh, of the tent in the sky is 60 mile. Uh, this is not the case if you find a tent in this world, which means you cannot find it. And... Uh, here it's really very bad translation. It should say 100 kilometers high. Translation is coming wrong. Yeah, the translation is coming wrong. So it is 60 mile wide and 100 mile, 100 kilometers. It's funny that the 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 tent is uh, 60 mile and the height is 100 kilometer <laughs> ah, welcome to islam my friend uh, anyway you see if you go to the tafsir you will find if you have my book sex and allah i'm not sure which page you will find that the man in the heaven he will be 90 mile tall 90 mile tall. This is the book. Ad-Durr al-Manthur fi tafsir by the Imam al-Suyuti. And this is a chapter 2, verse number 25. And then if we go here, you will see it says, From Sa'id ibn Jubayr, uh, he said that the the man will be 90 mile tall and the women she will be 30 mile tall. Uh, and each time he if her, the orgasm will go inside her for 70 years enjoying the orgasm. Let us translate this one. Let me first uh, post the link for you before we use the Google translation. You see, there's numbers. Muhammad, he stuck with them. So now the women, she will have, the man, he have orgasm. And the orgasm inside her, from the man, she will enjoy it for 70 years, brother. I mean, that is something, isn't it? There's numbers, Muhammad, he stuck with them, 70, 40, you know. So if we use Google Translation, translate to English, remember you have to use uh, Google Browser in order to do so. After you do that, search for the word 90. It's not showing. Mile. Here we go. So it says here from the authority of Said ibn Juraj, from 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 from, it says that the 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 the, the height, the long, the tall, the man will be tall of ninety mile in paradise, and the women will be thirty mile. So how the tent is sixty mile, and the man is going to be ninety mile. Are you with me?
how the man is 90 mile and the tent where he will have sex with a lot of women is 90 mile and each woman alone is 30 mile and you know imagine how short the woman is I mean you are 90 mile and the woman she is not even to your knee you know what I mean And now what the Muslim, they will say he's lying. I mean, we are, we are posting for you. This is their Islamic website. This is their tafsir. And this is from the Hadith. And all of them, they share it. And then, you know, the, and Muhammad, he told them that the woman, she will not harm her husband there. Oof, oof, oof. That's deep. She will not, brother? Yes, she will not, brother, harm her husband. Because Muslims, they suffer a lot from their women. They are not good. For them at least. So here it says, Woman does not harm her husband in this world except his wife from the among the whore, Al Ain, will say, May Allah curse you, may Allah kill you. He is just a visitor there. <laughs> so the whore, the virgins in the heaven, when they are watching over you from far distance and when your wife in this earth because she is very annoying your wife in this earth they are not like them so when the wife in this earth she fight with her husband the wives in the heaven they scream from heaven why you are fighting with him shame on you may Allah screw you may Allah kill you he is just a visitor there he is coming for us leave him alone leave him alone see you that those all is true stories and those suicide bombers they are seeking this you know this is what Islam is about if you are really here seeking you know to learn I advise you to to, to save those reference and in the certain like in your bookmark even if they are in Arabic put your own title in your language so later when you open them you can find what you are looking for so like now i just say to you a man will be 90 mile in heaven the women she will be 30 mile you might later text me uh, say hey where we can find the reference don't do that to me i just give you the reference uh alika maybe answer my question in the comment I don't know what's your question, my friend. I mean, what is the joy of having a woman? She is 30 mile. Why? I mean, what, what? This is the size of a child compared to your size. She is one to third of you. Correct? Very, very small child, actually, because that means this, this woman, she is not even to your knee, literally. She is one to three of your body size. You are 16 mile taller. So to make it simple, imagine your wife is 30 centimeter and you are 90 centimeter. You can go measure that and then you will see what we are talking about. And how such a man, he will be able to have sex with such a small you know, creature. We don't want to go in details, but the man, if, if the man he is 90 mile tall, how big his penis will be? 20 miles? One mile, two miles. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, if the man is 30 foot man. No, not 15. How oh, 30 to 15. 30 foot man. 
the women she would be one to third how that make it 15 that is half Okay, so you are saying the word mile was used by the time of the Euro, yeah, sorry, the time of the Roman? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an historian, so. How many scholars share this opinion? Here we go. Ahmed, now he is asking how many scholars. You tell me. If, uh, if the scholars don't share this opinion, why it is in your opinion? <laughs> And this is not a scholar. This is a, this is a companion of your prophet. What scholar? Scholar. The Muslims always they will try to find a solution for anything. Sound embarrassment. So now, how many they share this opinion? The question is why it is there. And if it's wrong, or if it's false, if you don't accept it, why you teach it? What's wrong with people? Is it right or not? Um. As an example, Muhammad, he said, that in the heaven, Allah will give you a bracelet. <clears throat> Allah will give you a bracelet. And if you take your bracelet in your hand, the light from the bracelet, which is made from gold, will cover, will blind the light of the sun. Let us see if we can find this hadith in English. Here we go, we found it. And now you will say to me how many... The Prophet said... Uh, he is describing how the heaven look like. So he say as little as a fingernail, little tiny, you know, part of finger, became an appearance in the heaven of Allah. It would have beautified all the far corners of the heaven and the earth. And if a man among the people of paradise were to appear and his bracelet, bracelets were to become appearance, which means he show it, it would have blotted out the light of the sun. Do you see it? This is just from bracelet in your hand. My friend Ahmad, you are here speaking to someone he know all the garbage of Islam. You never heard of it because you are, you know, here you will learn. Stay. Is that correct, guys? Isn't it true that here you hear things always you never heard before? Why? Because I know. And because you do not know. As simple as that. Is that my fault? So don't tell me I never heard this before. I'm showing the reference in front of you on screen. I'm posting a link for you, Islamic links. So when you say to me, I never heard this before, it's not my fault that I am a person who knows and you are ignorant. And here you see how Muhammad is exaggerating with the stupidity. So this little tiny bracelet will cover the light of the sun, but the light of the sun can burn you. So how you can put in your hand something like this, have so much power, and you yourself, you are not blinded. It's just exaggeration of stupidity. And look, he just said, if a finger meal of what in where in paradise become apparent, then it's going to beautify it all the far corners of the heaven and the earth. How you can beautify heaven by a fingernail if it if all the heaven is finger of those fingernails? I mean, do you see the stupidity? If a fingernail, I 
madness. He's just a person. He is adding exaggeration after exaggeration in order to fool people. And you know, if you are a fool, you are a fool. What we can say? How do you not know that your body will transform in the day of judgment? Your body will not really transform in the day, transform in the day of judgment as a Muslim because you will be a human having sex. All what Muhammad he said, we just showed you, your prophet, he says you will be 90 miles. So this is the only transformation happening. It's your size, your look, your age. When you enter the heaven, according to your prophet, two angels will give you to a drink. One of them will make you white, very white, and will change your age to be in the age of Jesus. And the other one will make you uh, tall, 90 mile tall. So you don't have really a transformation in heaven. Your body is a human body and you have penis and you are having sex, non-stop sex. What transformation? And you will eat even more. So you were a human in earth, you became an animal in heaven. So you need to fix what you say when you say transformation. And this is additional proof that Islam is a Hindu belief. You see, Muhammad he said that a murderer when he die. He will be a green bird. Correct? If you go right now and you check what the Hindus believe. The Hindus believe that if you have a bad karma, God will curse you or gods, they will curse you and make you a lower animal. If you have a good karma, which is at me action, you will be transformed into a green bird if you are a murderer for Allah. And here you ask yourself, how does God, he promised me a lot of females to have sex with, and then suddenly, and now the man is 90 mile, and the woman, she is 30 mile, and bingo, you are just a green bird. Read what Muhammad said. And if you don't want this hadith, we can show you the other hadith. So the Muslims in the heaven, they will be green birds. And those green birds will be under the ass of Allah. Depend in the hadith. There's a hadith says that they will be under the throne of Allah. Let us see the different hadith. The same, but this is, you know, and this is Sahih. See, it says Sahih. We ask Abdullah ibn Mas'ud about the verse, do not consider those who they have killed for this, uh, uh, in, in uh, Allah bath, uh, to be dead, nay, they are alive, in the presence of their Lord. Chapter 3, verse 169. Uh, replied that he had asked about that to the Prophet. He said, their spirit are in the crops of a green birds, which have lamps suspended from the throne, which means the throne of Allah. Do you see it? So how, you know, you say to me, Ahmad, your body in the heaven will be transformed. Okay, here we go. Your body in the heaven transformed to be a chicken. 
You must be proud now, Ahmed. Finally, you become a chicken, green chicken. Hmm? You must be proud. If I am you, I will be all you. <clears throat> so now, after you know, serving Allah and dying for the sake of Allah, and then finally, Allah make me a green bird. What more we want from this? I mean, come on, this is beautiful. Finally, we got what we dream to have. We are going to be green birds. Beautiful. You know. This is the, the dream of every one of us. Mm -hmm. Let me see how if I join Al-Qaeda and I die for the sake of Allah, how I will end. I want to see the future. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I did not find exactly the same green birds, but uh, okay, well, that makes sense. So now we found how a Muslim will be in heaven. And this is his final destination. This is how Osama bin Laden, he look right now. Uh, Ahmad, now he tried to fix it, and now he made it even more stupid. Guys, look what Ahmad he just said. He says in the heaven, you can have whatever you wish. What if my wish to make you a donkey? Did your God, Allah, use his brain when he used that sentence saying whatever you wish? I will tell you this story, Ahmad. There is a guy, he was digging with a bunch of um, employees, like workers, in the ground to build a house. They are poor. And there were, you know, like 11 of them. When they were digging, they found a lamp, like the one you see in Alibaba. They took the lamp, and there is dust and dirt on it, so they clean it, and they wipe the dirt, and then a genie came from the lamp. The genie, he said, make a wish each one of you is granted. Each one of you, you have one wish. The first one, he said, I want to be the most rich person in the world. Okay. The genie said, sure. You are the most rich person in the world now. In a second, the guy, he became the most rich person in the world. The second one, he said, he asked him, what do you want? He said, okay, me too. I want to be the most rich person in the world. The third person. The fourth person. The sixth person. All of them, one after one, they asked to be the most rich person in the world. And the genie is just doing their wish. One after one. And then he arrived to the last person and he asked him, what is your wish? And this is the guy number 11. Number 11, he scratched his head. He said, hmm, man, look at them. They forgot who they used to be. I don't want that. I want my friends to be back as before. Make them all poor again. <laughs> Uh, 
So what, whatever you wish. If everyone can be granted his wish, that's mean all your wish is gone. I wish something, you wished against it, and now Allah have to grant us both our wish. You wish to have a woman, the woman she wished to get rid of you. How that will work? I want them all poor again. One wish to each one of you. Who is the stupid here? Whatever you wish. What if somebody wished to have boom boom with your profit? What if somebody he like, you know, he's a homo, he like to if you. Allah, he said to him, whatever you wish, he can't say no to him. Whatever you wish. Stupidity, you know, this religion is just a stupid cult. You know, this Muhammad, he say as he wish. And then he promised you as you wish in heaven. What about he, he grant his own wishes to himself? What a crazy cult, my friend. You know, imagine if we give this lamp to women. Man. What women will do to each other if they have their hand on this lamp and the genie come from the ball? You know, what kind of religion believe in a genie anyway? A genie in the ball. Genie? Where is the word genie is coming from? Who is the first mythology or believe, believed in genie? Go check it out. You will see Muhammad is a thief again. Um, Ahmad, you, what do you want us to talk about? Well, you want you to tell us about your wish in the heaven. <laughs> Whatever you wish. What if somebody, he wish all the Christians to enter heaven? Look what I would do to Allah. I would convert to Islam. I will enter the heaven of Allah and then Allah he says to me whatever you wish okay I want all Christians all Jews all Hindus all Buddhas to enter heaven what do you think about that all the plan of Allah is screwed and the first one I will invite is Salma Rushdie Allah, he said, whatever you wish. Did he lie or he keep his promise? Is Allah going to be a coward? He will back down or he will keep what he said? Whatever you wish. Hmm? Not only that, I will say everybody in hell, bring them here. Why nobody desire? People, they desire crazy stuff. Nobody desire. Look at you, Muslims, what you desire. You desire having sex with the children. What do you mean nobody desire those things? You Muslim desire to have sex with the statues. Desire to have sex with Motor Miran. Have you ever heard of any religion teach that a man he can have sexual intercourse with watermelon. If you can find me any, let me know.
But I can prove it to you that you can have sex with water in Islam. Yes, sir. What about having sex with your daughter from adultery? Having sex with your sister from adultery? With your mother from adultery? So don't tell me nobody desire that. In this world, you will find people desire anything. Prove what? Exactly. What do you want? I mean, she may anything. You want the watermelon? Okay, let's see. He want me to prove the watermelon story. All right. Uh, are you ready now you will say to me I don't accept those things I never had sex with watermelon and I like only watermelon to eat them <laughs> right okay Let us go and see. This is your Muslim website. And this is a blog, or let's say, you know, Shia versus Sunni. Each of them, they are exposing each other. And I can show you the English one, the Arabic one, which is a Sunni, from the hand of the Sunni, but they are showing the reference anyway. For example, of the Sunni Murati, Salafi, ulama, which means scholars, ruled that masturbation is halal, forget this one. Comment. Second, Sunni Murati, legitimate, to use dildo, female sex toy, skip it. Hmm? Sunni Murati, scholars, they agree that you can have sex with the watermelon. We will not skip it. And this is from a book of Ibn al-Qayyim. The book of Ibn Qayyim. If a man makes a hole in a watermelon, I don't know if the, if the text is clear. Is the text clear? Or oh, it's so small? Can you read it still? I can zoom part by part, but I have to move then. Um, let us see here. Actually, there is an option in my supposed to, to zoom in it's not active maybe okay if a man makes a hole in watermelon or a piece of da or a leather skin or a statue and has sex with it are you there Ahmad hmm. then this is the same as we have as what we have said about other types of masturbation i.e. it is that is halal in the same circumstances, circumstances given before, such as being in a journey. So, Ahmad, if you are in a journey, Ahmad is going in a journey. He have his own jeep. He have open roof, and now he is horny. He look in the back of his jeep. He find the watermelon. All right. He found the watermelon. He dig in it. He make a hole. <laughs> Let us continue. Or a piece of dough. You cannot even give a Muslim a piece of dough. I mean, if you give them a bread, they will have sex with it. Or leather skin. What the heck? Or a statues. Ahmed, don't go to the museum, man. Don't go to the museum. What do you mean? Where is the... Okay, I will show you the reference. Hold on. Here we go. I will show it to you in Arabic then. I will give you even the page number. Just wait.
Where is the reference? Where is what? The reference. Let us see, hold on. This is the picture of the book. Not only I got you the reference, I got you the whole book. But there you all for it. Do you see the book? But there you all for it. Let's go down. Look how much they decorate this book, man. Because they, come on, there's watermelon, masturbation, if in watermelon, if in statues. So listen carefully. And then we go down the chapter of masturbation, page number 602. This is the page number. See it? Here it says, if the women, she have no husband, and she got to be so horny, our companion, they said, it is allowed for her to make a crumbage, which is a kind of a dildo made from leather in the image or the shape of a penis and she inserted inside her or she can use qara, which is like a cucumber you know so either you get a uh, like a, you make your own dildo or you use a cucumber and the woman she can insert it and he's actually describing other kind of uh, uh, vegetables I do not know what the translation for them in English but they are like you know the shape the shape of a cucumber so a Muslim woman she can use all those things I'm giving you the page number now and then he continues saying وَإِنْ قَوَّرَ بَطِّيْخَ you know what let me let me open the mark marker so you know where I'm reading are you with me Ahmed you are the one who asked for it eh, get what you asked for وَإِنْ قَوَّرَ بَطِّيْخَ أو عجينا أو أديما أو نجش أو أو نجشا من صنم. so if you make a hole in a watermelon or a da or uh, like an uh, uh, like a Barbie or a toy or even from a hole inside the statues hmm? and he can insert his penis in. And we mentioned that in previous details about what is how to do it. And then we said, this is easier than doing masturbation by the hand. Are you there, Ahmed? You asked me for the reference. I even get you the page as image. The page number, the book name. So what you will say now? This is your religion, Ahmed. Face it. Oh, there is no way. There is no way, guys. That's it. Ahmed, he solved the problem by going in the mood of denial. That will solve it. Right? That will solve it. No way. We show him the book, we show him the reference, we show him the page, we show him... It. Still no way. And here we go. This is a link I will give you because this is an image you can translate. This is the image. This is the, the book. This is the page. This is your Islamic website. And this is the link. Use Google Translation if you don't believe it. Uh, go. I just gave you the book. Kindly share reference of Muhammad having uh, Pharaoh, uh, not Pharaoh. The why, uh, uh, yeah, marry his wife in Jannah. All right, he's sick for sure. Let us see.
Uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to find you a, a website we can consider it as a trustworthy so the Muslim will not say to you um, this is not a true all right this is the official uh, website of uh, Ibn Baz which is the highest ever scholar in Saudi Arabia uh, Muhammad he said to Aisha please send my greeting Aisha sorry to uh, Khadi, uh, uh, Aisha she's reporting what Muhammad said to his wife Khadija when she was uh, uh, dying uh, here in the story here it says this is for Aisha but I what I what I know this is something he said to his wife Khadija and this guy is Sheikh is stupid so uh, all Muhammad is being stupid when he reported again so when Khadija was dying Muhammad he said to her say send my greeting to my wives in heaven to my wife sorry he did not say heaven in the other side his wife she said to him did you marry others of over me because Khadija Muhammad he did not marry any women during the time he was married to her so she was shocked she said what did he marry more women he said to her uh, no but I will marry after the end of this life from Maryam the virgin and from the wife of the Pharaoh and we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, and this is the question. So the question is saying that. However, the, the true story is that Muhammad, uh, he will marry from Maryam, and he mentioned that story to Khadija, not as it says here in the page. Let me give you more, uh, instead of this page, uh, Let us see. Um, <clears throat> You know, for me, I have tons of reference, but I want to show you only what is. The Muslims cannot play games with it. Okay. Let us see this one. Reported from Abu Huraira, uh, the following story. Let us see. Let us see where, 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 where. Uh, I mean, this is a very long, long, long hadith. Uh, where, where, where? Okay, here we go. So here it says here. I will post the link for you. So Allah He promised Muhammad 
from the women who they are not virgin no more. Asiya bin to Muzahim, Muhammad, he claimed that Asiya is the name of the wife of the Pharaoh, which is proven again that this is false. For the wife of the Pharaoh, Ramses II, have nothing to do with this name, and she is not the daughter of an Arab guy. The wife of the Pharaoh and the sister of Noah, and from the virgins is Mary, the daughter of Amran, and the sister of Moses. Let us use Google Translation. It is in red, so easy to find it. Translate. You see it? The, the translation here says firstborn is wrong. It's first version. So that Allah, he promised Muhammad. So he was promised to him from, uh, uh, from the women who they are not virgins. Asiya, the daughter of Muzahim, the wife of the Pharaoh, and the sister of Noah, and from the virgin women, the virgin one, Mary, the daughter of Amron, and the sister of Moses. So this hadith here actually confirmed that Mary, she is the sister of Moses too. Let me pause the link for you. I will use, go, uh, I will use a, short, a short link because Google will not accept such a long link to post. Let us do this. Uh, let me know, guys, if the link is working. I'm posting it now. Is it working? You are able to open it and see the same web page I, I showed you on the screen. Are we good? Did not work? Okay, let me find different website then. I, I mean, uh, different short in. Look like this one is fake. Uh, link shorten. I hope it's not like a scam. Take your wrong place. Be careful when you open links. Okay, let's see this one here. Uh, Okay, let us see this one. I think this one will work because I tried it before. What about now? Is it working? Okay, so you can use the same method, you know, open Google Translation, click at Google, and you will find the red, the, the red line, which will make it very easy for you uh, to read the reference, because it's in red. And it says there, the reference, at tabarani 360. Al-Mu'ajam al awsat You see here, it says even the reference, you know. Al-Mu'ajam al awsat 313. And here they are telling you it's in the authority of who and the authority of not. And there is more actually, not only this one. <coughs> uh, we are just showing one hadith of many hadith. Let us see here.
Yeah, I mean, one is enough. But this is telling you how sick this man is, to the point even women who they are exist thousands of years before him, he want to have them in his bed. He, you know, he worship himself. He is, uh, he is mentally ill. I mean, why, why God he promised you even Mary? I mean, what is that? And why the wife of the Pharaoh? What do you have to do with her? And why the sister of uh, uh, Mary, the sister of Aaron? Uh, or why the sister of Noah? I mean, the guy who went back all the way to Noah. What? Who is the sister of Noah you want to sleep with? <laughs> Madness. The sister of Noah. All right, guys, I'm uh, getting tired from sitting for long. I hope I have a good time. Uh, feel free to download my video. As you know, I don't keep them for long. And uh, feel free to share them with your friends. Uh, as you see, Islam really is, is, a, is, a, is a mockery. Literally, Islam is a mockery. It's a mockery for mankind. It's a mockery for anyone who have a brain. It's very sexual. It's very violent. It's very uh, uh, idiotic. Uh, it's it, it teaches you how to be addicted to stupidity. Uh, you know, it's all over. I mean, there's none one thing in this religion is not not stupid. And you see how huge the difference between what Jesus say and what this filthy man he say. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet before Muhammad? He claimed that the God will make him F every woman, even those who he owes to be exist long before him. Why? What is What the heck with that? This guy is the same as Hitler. He thinks he is the greatest, and everyone have to sleep with him. He's a maniac, pervert. Actually, I think even the word pervert can describe how filthy and how low he is. So I hope today we did share some good information with you. And I hope you guys are uh, uh, taking notes and you learned. And until we see you maybe tomorrow, God is willing. Until then, I want to say thank you. God bless you. And uh, we pray to the Lord. Uh, let us pray for this uh, man who the Muslim just tried to kill him today. That he will go back to his family and he will be healthy. And uh, the, the Muslim's dream to kill those who speak about Muhammad will not work. But even if it works, this guy, he did a great job exposing the faith of Muhammad, even though, by the way, his book, Satanic Verses, was not a big deal, but the Muslims, they made him so famous, thanks to the Muslims. So I am, actually, I'm hoping that the Muslim one day, they will go buy millions against me. That would be nice. That would be fun. Until now, it's not happening. I'm not lucky like him. The guy, he went to bed, he woke up in the morning, he found Al Khomeini making a fatwa against him and millions of Iranian speaking against him. I think because he was originally a Muslim from Iran, I think. I think he's Iranian, right? That's why he made them so upset in Iran. So uh, we pray for him, we pray for his family, uh, even though he's not a Christian, but doesn't matter, you know, our Lord. Um, he asks us to pray for everybody and uh, we love everybody, doesn't matter who. And because of that, we pray for this man and his family to overcome the bad time and he go back healthy to his family and he write more books about the stupid Muhammad. And I will be happy actually one day if you need my help to get more info for his books, we can make it way better for him. Because obviously still he know nothing about the garbage of Muhammad. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. And Muhammad is a scam. And don't think ever, Muhammad, and you can intimidate us. And your prophet will be always exposed. The more you do action of violence, the more we will have reaction. And our reaction would not make you happy. Will wipe the face of your filthy prophet in the ground. Thank you. God bless you.
But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 